Hey guys, and welcome back to more Ark Survival Evolved. No, Ark Ascended Evolved. Survival Ascended? Ark Ascended. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've done a little bit of work since the last stream, and I think I'm ready to start looking at what we need exactly for the Broodmother. So we're going to head over to the um, Broodmother whatever these things are called, uh, the one that sums the fruit mother, which I think is the green one, and it should tell us exactly what we need, what artifacts we need. I believe one of the artifacts we need is the hunter artifact, which we already have here. So um, from what I understand, you need three artifacts. So we should have another two of those, and then we're gonna put them there. There we go, look at that, beautiful. And um, yeah, we gotta, of course, as well, while we're here, at the same time, um, continue breeding, you know, do everything else we need to get. And then we also have to figure out how we're actually going to get to the Broodmother. So that's another thing we're going to have to figure out. So, because we're going to have to probably walk across the lands to... Um, hmm, that's a bit close. Uh, we have to walk across the whole lands to get there. I don't know exactly what the path is. So we probably have to fly above or something and see if we can find out how exactly to get there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so uh, welcome back to the base. Um, I've gone. I'm, I've done a lot of work when it comes to resources. Um, uh, I hope you guys are excited because the chemi station is the first thing I built. So somebody was. Yeah, there was a debate in the last stream. Chemi station first, forge first. In hindsight, now that I built the chemi station, the 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 pros and cons. Now the pros are that the chemi station gives me additional cement. So basically, before for the same amount of resources, we would um, get. I think I have it still up here. So if we look at what we get on cement here, we need four keratin and eight stone to get one cement. Now what we get in the chemi station is. For 16 keratin and 32 stones, we get six cement. Now, what this actually works out at is that uh, for eight keratin and 16 stone, you get eight, and for four keratin, the original source, four keratin and eight stone, you get four. Uh, sorry, you get yeah four, something like that. So you get an extra 0.5 cement per individual resource. So you get an extra three or two, uh, two or three cement. So from that perspective, the chemi station was um, not bad because it allowed me to just go on a chitin run or a chitin run, whatever, keratin run. And um, then I got more cement out of each. And they craft quite fast. The, fa the speed of the crafting is kind of irrelevant, I guess, yeah. So um, I still had to do a lot of grinding and burning and carrying around to get all the, these guys here, the, the metal. So, I suppose, in a way, if you have no problem getting cement, I don't think you need the chemi station first. I think it's only good if you do not have the ability to get enough paste, you know, from, from crafting. So if you're in an area where you have tons and tons of resources, like say you get um, a saber tooth or something that um, has additional chitin uh, or keratin from um, mobs, sure then paste is kind of a premium um resource but if you have mobs that get bonuses in collecting uh carrots then it's not a big deal to have pestles do it and get the forge first so i think it's a situational thing i don't think it's uh, something where you can say yeah always go for this first always goes for, go for this first it depends on your situ situation from what i understand so if you have absolutely no issue getting um iron you don't need the forge first you know sure you probably will also get extra iron in the, in the forge i have no idea um burn less spark but again if you have access to all those resources then it's not a big deal so um let's see how much we have here and yeah this is actually extra two because we have been running the kuka for quite a bit and um, I had to refill it. So the whole thing actually holds about um, eight days worth of fuel, I would say, in total, which is quite impressive. So we might have to get a second generator just so we can start making more um, resources. 
and this is done now yeah okay so we have everything now well, you see, chem station is a nice quality of life, but you can, yeah, it's it's the extra paste you get, yeah. So, and this is why I'm saying, if you're in a scenario where paste is at a premium, you don't have a saber tooth, you don't have a mob like uh, Megatherium, which uh, th these mobs get extra chitin or extra keratin, uh, from what I understand. So instead of say, if you, if you kill something and it gives you thirty uh, keratin. You now get 50 keratin, something like that. It nearly doubles the amount you get. So if we take a saber tooth and we're gonna go to the cave in the south, where the hunter artifact is, one run with a saber tooth, and you probably have all all the all the keratin you need to make enough paste to 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 make the uh, the forge, the, the the industry forge. So it really depends on you. Like quality of life is of no relevance if if you don't need it. If that makes sense. So HD, how are you doing? Um, so again, I will see what the Industrial Forge does for us now. But um, in the end of the day, what we get from the Chemi Station, I think I calculated it that um, you get per resource something an extra 0.5 paste, like per individual resource, like for one keratin basically something like that yeah so you get instead of 0.25 you get 0.5 so it's nearly it's nearly double like, yeah uh, something like that but uh, it's nice to get the extra paste and again that's an absolute brilliant thing if you are short on resources for paste but if you have keratin coming out of your backside and you have like uh, bookshelves full with keratin you have no issue with keratin i don't think you need the chemi station first it's, it's not something you need right away um, if you, however, find it really hard to get iron then, and you don't have a really quick path to get iron, you don't have a good uh, uh, full Ankylo, you're still trying to hammer it with your, with your melee weapon, um, then yeah, then you need the forge first, because you need, it, it depends really where you fall short. So either one is a fine choice, I guess, depending on your scenario. So I don't think uh, a blanket statement uh, would justify it to say, yep, yeah, always go for this first or that. It really depends on the situation. So this guy has been great. We have scorpions come across here every now and then. So I just use the Megatherium here to just give me all the chitin. I got a new Stegosaurus. Um, it was an imprint from a baby when I was killing everything for, for keratin. And um, this, I got imprinted twice on it, I think, or three times. Let me see. The, and then it asked me for a kibble, which I didn't have. I think you can see imprinting 50%. So yeah, I, it was asking me for cuddles for a walk and then um, for something else. But it was really good because it was 140, a level 140 baby and it tamed at uh, straight away 220 or 10 or something. What is it? it got 60 or 70 levels straight up. So it was really, really good. And um, it has good movement speed here. So this one is a good person, um, a good stego for um, getting uh, whatever berries or wood whatever we need now of course the mammoth is great as well um, we didn't need a stego but it was right there I saw the baby and I imprinted on it but, um, you know I just wanted to do that so <laughs> green day <laughs> um, so anyway welcome to the stream we're gonna go through a couple of other things I've been working on and um, I need some advice as well uh, because I'm kind of stuck with one or two things in, in, in this game uh, regards to building so I need to learn some tricks and how to get this done and uh, how am I enjoying the game I think it's great so far I'm having a lot of fun um, to be fair if I, I if I would have to run it on my PC I wouldn't have fun because I tried actually installing it locally on my PC and run it and it doesn't even start the GTX 1080 um, I don't know how people can start the game and modify it to lower settings I can actually not even start it uh, it boots the game boots and then immediately gets into errors so gtx 1080 maybe with some startup commands in steam where you do that whole dx12 thing maybe i don't know but out of the gate gtx 1080 if you don't have a clue really about pcs it's not gonna run for you very well it, it, it's it's not even starting properly so um having the geforce now ability is just making this an absolute amazing experience for me which which is great now it has its ups and downs. We have to constantly reinstall the mod, but it's only one mod I'm using. So um, should call the green one green day. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, a moon is flat on the dark side. Only on the dark side. That would be a very odd shape of a moon. But uh, <laughs> so here we go. 
<laughs> Grand day. There we go. Green day. Very good. Maybe it's going to start singing Wonderwall. I think that was one of theirs. So, and what I was going to show you actually is if we head over here. So, my problem I have is I want to build this wall to go across. Yeah, but I'm having an issue with snapping going downhill. So, when I'm trying to... So, you can see that I'm using fence post up to about uh, here. And, well, then it won't add new fence posts because you can see that the fence post is kind of hovering in the air on one side. And once you start hovering in the air, for some reason, you're not able to put any more fence posts beside it. It's really strange. Um, fence foundations, sorry, fence foundations. So when I try to put another fence foundation beside it, I would have expected it to snap above the ground so that I can put another one below the ground, uh, like below, below it to touch the ground, but that doesn't work. So I'm kind of stuck now trying to shape this because all I can really do is continue putting in walls beside each other and I am forced now to go into this straight line. So I'm not able to change the direction of the wall anymore. Unless, uh, what I can do though, I can kind of cheat and put uh, um, now on the ground another fence foundation, but that will then offset the height of the wall and if I try to put one on an existing wall on the ground so I basically snap it there and then it will always be the same height on the wall that won't work it won't let you do that so I'm literally forced to go across because what I was going to do is I wanted to go over to this guy to this side here and basically have another gate kind of here coming in on this side and have the wall then go this way but now the way the wall is shaped it will actually go all the way over here which makes this whole thing a little bit weird because it's kind of sitting here and it will it, it's it's just not i wanted to go here and then from here i want to go basically across to the other island and then that way i was utilizing the islands kind of a stopping points you know for gates and yeah it's kind of weird so what i could do is i could just slap a gate here you know, and then, but because this is higher up again, as soon as I get in the water, I will have the same problem where right now here, I can't put any fence posts. So I would theoretically have to put a fence post right here at the lowest point. And then as I go up, it will work. But that means if I get it wrong, I also have to undo everything again. So it's, it's a bit of a pain right now to build. I don't think the water has anything to do with it. It's just that it goes up and down on the slope and it's really hard to try to uh, shape this right now. Yeah, if I'm not, if I'm okay with the walls not being level, you're right. Um, and I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet on that and say, yeah, sure, let's build a behemoth gate where I want the gates to be. And then we just connect and wherever we can't do any more um, change, we're just going to build the walls to a point, then go underground and offset the fence post. You know, even if we have two walls merge into one in the end, you know, to bridge a gap, screw it. It's better than having it open and constantly have like some a horny Yutuananos thing uh, come in here and start causing havoc, you know. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I just wanted to run it by you in case anybody watching this or you guys here live on chat know kind of a couple of things that can deal with that and still keep the wall straight. The other thing is what I was going to try is actually build my grounds first and have a foundation and ceilings of a foundation with support uh, uh, blocks uh, support pillars come all the way from here from the base to here so you know the way I, I have my base here so i start building foundations and ceilings until i get to here and then i can build all the walls i want on it because the foundations will shape everything so and then if i can use the triangular ceilings and everything to shape everything i can just slap the walls on the outside and that will work as well so um yeah i'm not sure exactly how i'm gonna do it i think i might do the foundation trick and all that and uh, go from there and then see how that works oh snap ceilings to it yeah actually that's one thing i didn't try i think yeah so ceilings and then snap the wall okay yeah i haven't tried sorry i didn't see that comment there danny um, i'm gonna try ceilings on that 
I'm not going to do this right now the second, but um, that's definitely something I'm going to put on my list and um, try seeing this in okay. game. Okay. That makes sense actually, because then if you um, you can shape, you can use the triangular ceilings to kind of move them at least 45 degrees into a different direction, which is a really nice um, thing to do. Anyway, you can see I, I shaped my entrance. We no longer have a ladder. Um, I wanted to efficiently squeeze everything in here, so I have my um, meat, uh, my, my rotten meat here. I have my um, food here for all the dinosaurs around here you know that has a good range it doesn't hit all of the dinosaurs but you can see um, most of them are probably within this range so you can see it goes up to about here and then some of the dinosaurs are in and some are not but that's okay they all have food inside their inventory as well so I always they always attack or eat something so they always have you know, some sort of um, food there so um, let me just turn that back off. Then I also have some light here. I have a lamp here. Um, I think it's the lowest setting, is it? Yeah, it's the lowest setting, which looks nice. It's not too much in your face. And what else did I add? I didn't add any more dinos, but yeah, I have my personal chest here. So every now and then when I want to do, like say get stone or something, I'm making sure I don't have any weight on me that we can get as much stuff as possible. Here is where I will put the industrial forge because what I don't want to constantly have to put all the iron on my person, walk with heart, with a little bit of it upstairs, then walk back down, get a little bit more. So I want to just say, here's where the dinos come in. Here's the metal. Don't put all in here. Ba -ba 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 -bam. Let's get the show on the road. So I have uh, the resources. Well, this one is actually light. I just have that here for convenience because um, when we make spark powder here, I uh, you know have all the stuff right here and um, it makes the spark powder really fast as well. So um, let me actually, yeah, so what I will do then when I get metal with this guy, I will just have another chest there and I will have the forge there and everything will be just, you know, done right here on the spot. And then all I have to do is uh, get the iron ingots um, and carry them up, which um, is fine. That's that's different. So that's okay. I'm not having an issue with it. I might actually move then the, the factory, um, sorry, the um, or build a second industrial um, fabricator down here so we can just do everything down here as well. So uh, I'm not really sure. We'll see. Yeah, so we, we work something out with the spacing, yeah. I haven't tried painting the lights yet, so that's something I definitely wanted to look into. I, I thought they had an option. I, I thought I saw an option with one of them where you could click on it and then choose a color, but it seems you have to do it with the brush or something like, yeah, so we worked that out. So anyway, fancy staircases here, as you can see. And I managed to actually kind of make it look nice with the walls and everything on the side. So it looks proper. Um, it even closes actually on the corner, which is really nice. So um, it cuts a little bit into the stairs because they're round, but it's fine. Um, from the outside, you can barely see it. So I'm very happy with how that worked out and we can walk straight up now. Let me show you what our mutations are like in the moment. So I finally got a handle on the whole mutation thing, yeah? So these guys here are my... Um... Oh, look at you. Why are you floating up in the air? Hello? Oh, okay. Well, we'll replace you now anyway. Every now and then when I load into the game, they just float in there like that. Um... So... Come on, step back. Can you step back? No? Okay. Yeah, very strange, dude. Okay, so um, this guy here, if you have a look at his stats, yeah, so we eventually, um, nine, nine? There we go. Let me see, do I just do something? F9, didn't do anything. Okay. I pressed F9 accidentally, and sometimes I have hotkeys bound to my OBS for this, so I'm just making sure everything's okay. okay. So this guy here, as you can see, is, um, uh, 33, 31, 36, 32, and he has one mutation that came from the female side. Now, this this was the biggest confusion to me. So I was like, okay, hang on a second. If we get mutations from the maternal side, surely at some point we're gonna end up with 2020 there and that's gonna be a problem. But that is exactly the reason why we never breed with mutated females. 
So um, if you don't understand this or you don't know this at this stage, then it's probably a bit hard to understand, but most of you probably already know this. Yeah. So the way this works is like, you have a child that gets a mutation. The mutation can come from the maternal side on a male. That's okay. That is absolutely fine because what happens, as you can see, we have a new male and he has a mutation from the mother's side. And you can see the mutation that we got was in strength, yeah, on male, which is exactly what I wanted. So we use him to breed now. But what will happen is actually when we have a boy born that inherits that stat, they don't actually get that stat from the maternal side because it's a new baby that gets the stats from the dad's side. So now here we have a new male and that male, let me just click this off, and that male has one maternal and one paternal um, uh, upgrade, yeah, a mutation. But as you can see, um, the maternal one is not the one with the, with the male. The maternal one is the one that came from the health because the paternal one is the one that came from the strength because our dad has the strength. So the way this works now is if I make him, if I make our new male, the new breeding male, because none of the females have any mutations that are mating us, yeah? The next mutation that we get will have only paternal mutations, unless a new mutation on top comes in from the maternal side. But if we only keep the same uh, mutations that we already have, they will purely come from the dad. And that is where uh, if you basically have the ability then to infinitively um, mutate. So because eventually you're gonna end up with 2020 on the dad's side, but because you still can get mutations from the female side every time because you're using pure females, yeah, um, you will end up with 20 on the dad side and 120 on the woman. But if you make that man your new source, you basically have 21 coming from the dad side. So unless they put a cap on that as well, but that is how it used to work. And I never understood this fully until I just actually saw the results for myself. So, um, so in the moment, uh, um, uh, you don't want to get two different mutations. Actually, they inherit in Ascendant. There's a video that somebody posted to test it. You can inherit every single mutation on a child origin viper. So if I have a male with a mutation in every single stat, my child that's born will inherit all of them, not just one. And it can still get more mutations on top of it. So they completely changed how this works. There was a, I forgot the girl's name now. So she made a video on it and um, she showed it. Yeah, she literally showed um, the mutations in the results on the children. And it doesn't matter. You can even, you can even now, if I find a new um, female or a new male, if I find a, a sorry, a new female now that has, say, um, twice as much health. So say we find a female that has 10,000 health yeah in nature yeah without any points that obviously is huge we can put her together with our current male and the baby can still even if it already has mutations on that side it can still inherit now the new base stats of health plus the mutation on top so they had separated mutations completely from base stats so uh, the way I believe it worked before is, and that's how she explained it is, before when you had a mutation, it increased the base stats. So our base stat was 33, now it would be 35, yeah? But that is no longer the case. Mutation stats are completely separate and added um, to the base stats. So you can, you're no longer increasing the base stats. And that's why this works the way it does. You can basically, every time you have a child, you can uh, um, get all the mutations. Now, obviously we still need to test that. That's just what I was uh, seeing on the videos. So this guy here, we're gonna keep, we're not gonna kill him. We're gonna put him with his dad that they can start watching the action together, you know, discuss how they used to be good and how they're no longer the heroes of the game. So um, yeah, so that's how it works, which is actually very interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace our uh, guys here quickly before we're gonna go off and chase more artifacts so that uh, we can do one more round of breeding before we go to see what the result is they breed pretty fast so we don't have to worry about it um, let's put you into the corner a little bit more because we're gonna have to put the other dude beside you okay 
And now we're going to take you. Put you right here. And then we're gonna take out the ceiling and this railing. And now we're gonna take you out here as well. Actually, I'm gonna turn them around so that um, gonna put the new mail in oh, I think I have to let my dog out give me one second please sorry about that Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I had to let the dog out and my family just came home. So I just had to, you know, say hi. Can't just ignore them. I had to say hi and everything and uh, make sure they're okay. And um, say goodnight to them. So anyway, sorry about that. Now, uh, this guy's going to go into here. In you go, you breeding beauty. A little bit back. enough yeah the breeding range uh, oh yeah that's another thing the breeding range can we somehow change that silly breeding range so i believe on official servers yeah that the breeding range is eight blocks like and usually the way it works is like that things get easier on single player but on single player their breeding range is one block literally the block beside you uh, uh, around you and that's it that is terrible. 
So, um, so we have to have these things like this. And obviously what happens is every now and then when I take the saddle off, I'm glitching completely into the other dinos and I have to restart the game. I have to relog it. That is crazy. That is really crazy. So we're gonna put, slap that on you. There you go. And we slap that on you. So, because they keep moving by themselves every now and then, which is kind of terrible. So that's why I have to lock them in like that. Um, so let me just catch up with Chash Green Day and Pink Day. Yeah. You don't want to get two different mutations. Yeah, okay, so 20 is not the max in Acer. Um, so basically, um, the 20 is the official max in the sense that um, if you look at the mutations, 20 is the max. It always been, yeah? However, this max, I believe, is only relevant if you have both maternal and paternal. So, but again, I don't really know, but they, it says out of 20. So if that has never true, been true, then screw it, yeah? All I know is that the, pe the reason people always use pure females in Survival Evolved from all the videos I watched on this is so they can get a buff 20 mutations on the paternal side, uh, infinite. Because if you have 20 maternal, the moment you hit 20 paternal, that's it. It, like it, apparently that's when you can no longer get mutations yeah but as long as you keep this side below 20 this one is gonna go up and up because every time you get a mutation from a female on a male and you make him the new source for the babies with pure females all the mutations move over to the dad side on the new baby so you will always have zero mutations or one or two max if the baby was born with additional mutations from the mother's side so, um, yeah, so that's, there is a max, but you can work around that from what I understand. And in ASA officially, from what I can see, the max is 20. That's, it implies that the max is 20 as well, just like in Evolve, but you can work around it. So, um, but that's why you never want to use females um, that are not pure in, in this. I, I, I suppose what you could do is you could use um, if you, if you use eight females, you might want to do one mutation on each or maximum, yeah, ma one, because that means you will get a maximum of 16 mutations on the paternal side. The reason I say 16 is because the mutations can double trigger. So if you have a female with one mutation, you could end up triggering two mutations. So you get the female mutation and then another two on top, so you have three mutations. Um, so the, there is actually double whammo mutations. I, I actually had a child, but sadly it was a female, so I killed it, which uh, went from two level two, 202 on the very first pair to 206 straight away. Yeah, and she had two mutations, but they were oxygen and weight, and they both came from the uh, maternal side. So uh, it, they can double proc, so you want to be very careful uh, mixing your female and male mutations in a single baby because you could very easily cap out especially if you use tons of mutated females so um, yeah anyway so you are close enough and let's um, this is my uh, existing females yeah okay so all the females are still set to breeding so all I have to do is uh, turn my male enable mating and now let's have a quick look let me see mating 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 because sometimes the male has is, is a little bit too far forward and some don't get the mating so mating 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 also what i would recommend is if you want to have a continuous breeding farm be prepared for uneven births because uh, the moment they're finished mating right now they're all mating in the same speed and they will ge gestate at the same speed. So they will all give birth to a child at the same exact moment, yeah? However, the cooldown after giving birth for the next child is random. So you could have this one sit at three minutes, this one sit at 30 seconds, this one sit at uh, three and a half minutes. I turned them down to not go over five minutes, but because of that, you will never have a reliable synchronized birth. So what I usually do is I um, have the mate gestate and the moment they gestate I turn mating off on the male that means that they don't start mating again and then I look at all the babies I see if I want to keep one if I can get one because sometimes it takes me a while to decide which baby and I don't want another one being born 
at that time because some have zero cooldown nearly they go straight away back to mating um, and that way by the time I'm finished all the cooldowns are usually done and then they all go back into sync and they go yep we're all ready to mate and because I like to have everybody just give birth at the same time take my time as the children and then have them give birth at the same time again because I don't like when they randomly poop out because I could be here doing something look over here I see nothing and here in the corner I have another child sitting that's slowly dying because uh, I don't see it so I, I that's the way I prefer doing it <laughs> yeah officially is it a bug is it um Dolly said it's a book. The range was never supposed to change. It will be fixed in coming patch kicks. Oh, that is amazing because on Ark Survival Evolved, they had the same thing. The, the, the range was only set to one. Uh, sorry, it's set to two by default. Two blocks on Survival Evolved, apparently, in single player. And on official services, eight. So that, that's why I was kind of thinking, God, you know, is there a setting somewhere, you know, where you have the range of the birth? Now here, that's not the right settings. Yeah, we would have to go out of the game. But um, yeah... It's something that I was like, huh, usually this official server is tighter in settings than single player. Oh, Jesus Christ. They were all gestating at the same time. So now what I do is I turn him off. He's like, guys, I need a break. Yeah, because males are, uh, males are ready for mating straight away again, which is hilarious, you know. The women are like, okay, I just gave birth. Give me a minute, you know. And the guys are like, come on, come on, I'm ready to go. Come on. <laughs> it's like it's like I can show you the world in 30 seconds or less so um, yeah exactly as long as one side is clean of mutations your final pairing you can stack as high as you want yeah exactly Indy that, that, that's my point that uh, and that's why you now actually funny enough I was thinking why do we why do we then only want uh, female uh, like male mutations why do we not do it the other way around, for example? I'm just trying to understand the maths because there's obviously a reason somebody says, oh, instead of upgrading the male, why don't you upgrade all your females? So you basically, every time you get a female mutation, put it, put it there because the likelihood of you getting female mutations is much higher than males because if you give eight children, most of them are always, um, most mutations I found are usually female. So, um, I don't know why that is and uh, I also got very lucky by the way I don't know if you noticed that but his mutations here were health and strength which was really lucky because um, that's the mutations I care about so but anyway now that we get a new child I have to check the new children now if we get a 200 level 206 child that is not it means it's not mutated but it should inherit both of the mutations by default from the dad and only when a new mutate and, and they should come from the dart side. So we should basically see then zero on the female side and two on the dart side with a child that is not mutated, that is just born to max level. So if we have two or two babies, they won't have mutations. If we have two or six babies, they have the mutations. But um, two or eight would then, two or eight or two or 10. We could get a two or 10 baby. Because, like I said, mutations can double trigger. I don't know if that was in Survival Evolved, but um, we'll see. So these guys here, now, now nearly ready, 10 seconds left, and then they're gonna do their big boom. And we usually see a couple of babies flying. That's why I had to raise the walls, because some of them like to shoot their babies across the room. I think it's because they hit the ceilings. Yeah, you see that there? Boom, boom. <laughs> okay, so we have a 202 here, which I don't care about, um, but let me see the stats. Yeah, no mutation. Oh, you see that here? It says two mutations from the dart side, but even though it didn't get any of them, which is really odd. Um, this one here is 206. So this one has, you, you see that here? This is what I was talking about. Let me just tame that. And oh yeah, before I continue. No, not this one, this one. Let me take some food in the ones I care. Oh, new mutation. Two, no, that's 206, but the, it got a color mutation. Or it got a new mutation from the mother's side and the one from, and inherited one from the dad. Yeah, you can see that it inherited... Oh, it got three mutations. The original two, which I don't see on strength for some reason. 
and because it's still 885 on strength so that's not really true but it got two new mutations uh, one with food which I don't care about so you're not gonna be kept so you're gonna be kept just for an example so I'm gonna put some food into you let me see we have 204 here 204 yeah inherited just one mutation so in this case we can reliably say if you're level 202 you got zero mutations if you got level 204 you got one mutation 206 you get two mutations or a new mutation you could see because of the color that was two mutations uh, a new mutation so but we're not going to keep this one so if we use this male now we would lose actually our um, strength mutation so you see the base strength is 885, but the mutated strength is 904. This one is only 885. So what confuses me about this is, yeah, is why, why is this child looking at three mutations if it's not actually mutated? It says, yeah, so it records them historically. Okay, so even if it doesn't get any itself, yeah, that is confusing. It, it, like it's confusing that it says hey we have three mutate we have the mutations inherited from the dad but it didn't so you have to be careful so what you're looking for is basically a level 208 here so i'm gonna kill all of these in a second so this one here let me follow come on follow me or actually don't follow now we're just gonna uh, get the rest of them to follow us so we can kill them quicker You don't look too well either. 204. Oh, you are 206 as well. So you could potentially have a new or existing. Yeah, you just have the existing ones. So you can see they just have the health and the strength. So, but if she's female, now this is where I'm kind of lost a little bit. If she's female now, yeah, why can't we use her for breeding? Because if you think about it, yeah, she has the female, she is basically just has the male mutations. So theoretically, she's still clean because she has no female mutations. Oh, yeah, we don't want the mutations to come from the maternal side because that will fill up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So future children, we don't want them to have really much coming from the mother's side. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a 204. And this one is the one we don't want either. 206. Yeah, that's the one with the new mutation. Yeah, so we don't want this either. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that's why you have to look at the numbers. It's actually really good. Um, Uh, it's only difficult at first, but then you get used to it. To slaughtering them every time. Okay. So, again, we're not going to keep this guy, but uh, that was just to show you that um, how the mutations move to the male side. So you can see here, the dad has one mutation from the female side, one mutation from the male side. But if a child is born that inherits the dad's mutations, they count as male mutations only. So this guy here, if you look at him, perfectly clean maternal side, no mutations. And that is what you want. So that will allow you to have this counter keep getting higher and higher and higher. So um, now, yeah, like you said, obviously it would be good when you get more maternal side that it will be on strength or health. Actually, even the maternal side, it doesn't matter because they move over to the guy side, yeah? So what we're looking for is only mutations in strength and maybe another one or two in health. So, and I don't know if this is possible. So but that is what we're testing for. So uh, all these guys, by the way, prefer berries while they're growing up. So I have a berry trough here and uh, with a little bit of meat filled up. And then I have meat here, which is the secondary, where once they have no berries, they start eating this. And I have this full of meat as well. Um, yeah, there you go. Excellent. 
So yeah, that was just a showcase, you know, how the mutations get inherited, uh, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, it's also easier to swap eight, one male to eight females. I guess it is, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Indy, that's what you do. You do females stacked for one stat um, up to two or three uh, on each female and then put them back to a clean male and stack them all onto the final uh, to breed fighters. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so th th that makes sense as well. I think it would be just more effort, I guess, uh, to replace all the females all the time um in a way i guess but yeah so and um, because of my easy difficulty level what i want to try is i want to see i want to get him to about 220 possibly and um if we get the dad to 220 then um i was just thinking we could if we find even a female if we find a 150 wild megathorium that has perfect health and male stats, or one of them, it doesn't matter, yeah? Use it to, so if it's a male, then we breed it with one of the females to get a perfect ba to get a perfect male, and then we could, or a perfect female, and then we could use that higher level perfect female to mate with this male to create a new male with the mutations of the dad, but the new higher level. So you could immediately jump from level 206, theoretically, to 260, I think, because if you have 150, you have a perfect tame. I think that's 90 levels. So you could end up at 240. And then you transfer the mutations to a new child of the 240 female. That would be worth it. Uh, that, that, that's actually possible now as well, because um, the the mutation stats are separate, and you no longer upgrade the base stats. So once you if you find a female with the same or better base stats than my current male and females, they're all the same, then we can actually start using that one as a new clean female to get the new stats. It's it's actually amazing how they're separated. It's it's something that wasn't possible before. Uh, before you had to find the perfect pair. And then say you found a, a better perfect one in the wild, you weren't able to integrate that with your, with your current breeding clan um, because of the way the base stats were already increased on the mutations. But because mutations are separate now, you can always use a new dino with better base stats and start including that in the rotation. It's actually quite uh, uh, quality of life uh, friendly, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I moved my dude up here as well. So he um, is collecting all the eggs that you still can see for our kibble. So we might actually move our kibble production up here into the corner because carrying those eggs around is a big pain in the ass. Um, so we might do that. Um, our healer what that we're going to need for the brood mother is um, on its way to be really amazing. So I'm just going to put everything here. And I'm gonna go again into a little bit more into health. There we go, 32,000. We have 116,000 food. So this guy, I think, could be non-stop healing. And what we're gonna do is, when before we head off, we're going to put a couple of more points into weight until about 1,000 or 1,200. Um, so we're gonna put 10 points probably into weight. And then we're gonna fill up the whole inventory with a cooked raw prime meat it was cooked prime meat um, because they're stuck to 230 as well or we're gonna do just cooked meat or whatever yeah they're stuck to 50 and we're gonna fill up his whole inventory with meat and that means he should be able to heal non-stop throughout the fight yeah exactly you can breed for mutations now technically with level 5 dinos and then when you have a mutation stack transfer mutation to a high level dino exactly that, that's exactly what you can do now and uh, because before you couldn't do that because it only increased the base stats and, and that's why you wanted that 150 wild level perfect tame 
you know, was the best stats. You, you wanted a male and a female from that. And it took forever. It took hours. And it took me about, I would say in total, about four or five hours to get the perfect pair. If I would have known that before and watched the, watched the video about mutations in Ascendant uh, before, I wouldn't have based my my work on what I was doing here on the survival uh, version, you know, so, but that is awesome because now it means I can actually still have a chance of looking out for a nice, perfect 150 female and start putting her into the rotation. Uh, no, but we, we need to keep, we need to put the guy on Wanda to increase the sex drive of our mobs, uh, Danny. So um, they, if, they're, if they're not on Wanda, they don't um, increase. So basically, um, the timer, I don't know if it's only for, for mobs that lay eggs, but you need to put it on Wanda for some reason um, if you want the timer to be reduced. Um, the, so the default timer, I think, is 15 minutes or something for, for laying eggs. And um, it, the OV on Wanda brings it down to 11 minutes. So it reduces it by a certain percentage, but I don't know if that also impacts um, gestation period on non-egg layers. Oh, Klaus, that's amazing. If you find a Rex with a baby and the baby happens to be uh, male, I think if you tame the, the, the parent, the female, uh, you can imprint on the baby. So you could theoretically get a female parent with a male baby and make them the your breeding pair that's amazing yeah i see what you're saying in these you get you have it's a bit quicker uh, having multiple females yeah so uh, again that that is just uh, in in the, uh, in uh, in here for the egg laying it reduces the the timer for uh when they're, sorry, the gestation period of eggs, whatever, or not the gestation, sorry, it reduces the, the timer when they're ready to lay an egg again or something like that. And I don't know if that applies to here. So I have him in the corner here so that he has a huge range across the whole base, just in case he also has a positive uh, impact on our guys here. So let me take my flyer now. So these guys have food, they're all looked after, nobody's gonna starve. Um, so let me now make the forge. What do we need for it, um, for the forge? So I have just enough uh, paste. We need some more polymer. We need 40 more polymer. There we go. And also, let's get a little bit more polymer. So this guy here is sitting at I don't know. I just keep every now and then refreshing and, oh yeah, I have to take that meat. I hate when it does that, that skip to the, that when it skips up the row, it's just so annoying. So the penguins actually eat off the other trough. So they never use this trough, really. You can see the meat just keeps spoiling. So I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna make the forge. Now let me put away the. Oh, by the way, I had a drop, a red, a red drop. Give me um, absorbent substrate. No idea what that is for. Refertilizer, no idea what this is for. I know I can read the text, but I don't fully understand it. And I think that's it. Yeah, a couple of more uh, stimulants or something, but it had an absorbent substrate. No clue what I needed for it. But, um, I know I can do that in the chemistry station as well. Now, I always have a couple of resources on me, as you can see here, um, so I can repair, because every time now and then when I kill all the children, I hit the plates. 
Also, I increased my balcony. I kept falling off with my bird. So I have, I'm gonna build this all the way around. And I have a little landing pad here for um, Archie, which is really nice. So Archie's pretty happy here. And yeah, that's it. I just made a couple of more storages to, do, to separate everything. Oh, I found a sniper rifle in a, a drop as well, which is amazing. So um, laser attachment on the sniper rifle, or I think I have a scope. Yeah, put a scope on the sniper rifle. Oh, can I, oh, can I not detach it? Hang on a second. Remove accessory and then put the scope on it. Oh, we can't put the scope on it? Really? I suppose it already has built-in scope, I guess. So we can put that here. And then I think if I make normal ammunition, advanced bullets. Um, oh, do I not have any normal rifle ammunition? Because it doesn't work with trunk darts, as far as I know. I don't think you can use attachments with um, No. So do you have any normal ammunition? Yeah, 35. So if I do that, does that fit in there? Oh no. Is it the advanced? Huh. Okay. Huh. What ammunition goes in there? Ah, I would have assumed normal a normal rifle ammunition can go in there. Oh, oh is it is there special sniper ammo? Is there? Okay. Anyway, it's pretty cool that we found that. Um, there we go. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out at some point. So we're gonna put all the weapons there. This one's for me. Okay, so now let me craft some gravel hooks um, and get the forge set up. This is my blueprint chest. Um, put the ammo away. There we go. And we have one more attachment here. Okay, good. See if we can do any refills here. Good. I keep this topped up all the time. So. Um, yeah, my chest. Okay. So, um, leave that here, here. I don't need the Megatherium saddle now. Let get rid of the meat. Oh, shit, I have, sorry, I, I forgot to put the ammunition away. I don't want to start losing stuff. Um, okay. Um, actually, we have C4 chargers. We might need to make a C4 remote. I hope we have the points for that. Oh, SSP remote. What is that? What is that for? Oh, it's a C4 detonator. So we get a free one. We don't have to use this one. That's interesting. Well, as long as it works with C4. Okay, whatever was here just got devoured. Oh, you're so slow in walking backwards.
Oh yeah, you ate something, didn't you? Okay. So, um, let me see how big that is now. Um, okay, it is, it is pretty big. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, so let me move all those guys out of the way now. And um, what I want to do is I want to make a platform for these guys that goes across the water so that we have all our dinos here on a nice even surface because I don't want constantly them to be drowning the little guys. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that right now. Let me just move these guys out of the way. Actually, he can stand here pretty much in the deep, which is great. Okay, so now let me see we're gonna put another couple of foundations there I think I have some more up here three more foundations mm, yeah okay See what that looks like. Oh, we can't move very. Yeah, that's kind of terrible. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So it actually does fit here. Okay. So let's put it here then. And let me make a couple of more foundations. What do we need for foundations here? Let me get my, my which one, who has the wood? He has the wood. If we make 10, that's um, 400 wood. And how much thatch is 300? And then 800 stone. gonna have to do um, ceilings after that I'm just waiting for them to, to bring down my weight there we go so we can put another one here another one here and then yeah we're gonna build walls um, here, here and then we kind of build ceilings there okay and ceilings okay and then we put pillars under the ceilings now the ceilings and the uh, foundations they actually change that they perfectly line up now so all you do is put some walls around it then if you need to but this i will build all the way across so that um our dinos basically um, oh yeah that means i can possibly put the foundation here as well you see, so if I take this foundation, mm, no, because this, yeah, 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 the stairs, let me see. So if I, 
put a foundation here. Oh, I can't. Why not? Oh, yeah. No, that shouldn't be a problem. It's because I have a foundation here. So we put a ceiling here and then bring the stairs down from the ceiling. No, we're going to leave it the way it is. End of story. I'm not going to change that. Ah, of course, now it... There we go. And we're just gonna put one of those on this side here and that's it. Okay. You just have to find a way to get up here then very easily. Probably gonna put another set of stairs uh, here or something. We'll see. I do that another time. I work it out at some point. So we're gonna put ceilings here. So let's see. Um, it's powered. Let's see how fast it is. Uh, do we have any iron here? Kylo. Let me just get uh, just a few bits of iron. I want to see how fast it um, powers through. So 140, which is easier to count, I guess. Okay, so it used 40 to make 20, which means it used 20 to make 10, it used 2 to make 1. Is that what it does currently? Does it make, does it take 2 or does it take 5? Does it take 2 or 5? I think it takes 5 in the moment, isn't it? In the normal forge. So, that's actually really good. Okay, so leave that here. Yeah, I'm gonna, between streams, I'm gonna build all this, so don't worry about it. Um, this will be a, a huge outdoor platform um, that will be all fenced in, so there will literally be very little uh, that can attack us on rogue dinos. Um, so, yeah, that will look nice um, in the end. I might move this slightly against, um, you know, a different part of the wall down here, possibly, no problem, but um, so that we have like um, um, other things we can uh, put there, but uh, I definitely will store all the stone there, everything, all the, not stone, the uh, iron in the shelves here, and um, so that we have the chemistry station and that we have access to that as well. Yeah. So anyway. Another day, another day. I'm gonna work on that between streams. That gives me time to uh, chill out and uh, fix all this up. All right, let's go. Let's see what we need uh, for the brood mother. Um, so this is all sorted. They're all feeding. Okay, sorry, I was wrong. Okay, we're empty now. Oh, sorry, yeah, the foundations. Put them away, I don't want the extra weight here. And the wood. Uh, 
Um, gravel hooks. Oh, actually, I want to make some gravel hooks before we go because there's something I want to try. Um, we need the C4. Well, maybe. Mm, we'll see. Um, ah, we do that. We do that after. Let me prepare for it properly. So uh, let's head up here to the green obelisk. That's the word I was looking for earlier. The green one is over here. Uh, Kenny, how are you doing? Oh, it just is faster. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, we will build a vault, exactly. Yeah, so um, that, that's... I, I, I couldn't think of the, the word I was looking at. I was thinking storage, wood storage, shelves. <laughs> I was, oh, yeah, the vault. Oh, look at this. This is special iron. These guys was the... Oh, hello. What the hell? A Gigantosaurus. He's stuck in the wall. Hmm. Hmm. How stuck are you? How stuck are you? Very stuck. And you're very low level, that's actually quite nice. How's your topor? Oh shit, you have so much topor. Oh, we hit the wall. That's a Giga, yeah. Oh shit, we have to really keep shooting and shooting and shooting. We probably have to go through all our bullets. You got yourself into quite the predicament there, Mr. Guy Giga. And he's a lovely blue color, it's my favorite color. Oh, I know Origin, I was terrified of taming a Giga, but how can, how can you fly past this? How can you fly past this and not try to tame this if he's completely stopped? I mean, surely that's the that's the, an absolute opportunity here that nobody would uh, like not try to uh, take advantage of. So let's have a quick look. Fifteen thousand nine hundred, sixteen thousand. So I think we have enough bullets. That is an opportunity of a lifetime. Oh my god. I thought it was a Rex. Wow.
Well, I still have some arrows as well. I have a hundred arrows still, so. I think he's near. He's gonna go now. There you go. And he has actually. Oh, food is his highest stat. But we'll see what it works out as. Let me get some meat for you. There should be more things to kill here. Oh, I thought there would be more stuff to kill here. Oh, there's a... Is that the Broodmother entrance? Let's see. He will sleep for a little bit at least. Um, let me see if we can find some meat. There's usually lots of scorpions around here. Yeah, there's something there. I don't know what you are, but you're mine. tiny he was only level five so this is gonna be interesting because I have no saddle for you so let me see the stats on this one um, yeah he's eight food seven but seven melee and seven weight so he's not so and it's a female so she can lay eggs I guess um, anyway let's try to bring her back somehow and if she's stuck, then um, I don't know how we're going to do this. Oh, was he close to waking up? Are you kidding me? Okay. Now he's an easy uh, victim now, hopefully we won't lose him, but either way it was a really great opportunity here, so even if we lose him now. Okay, yeah, he's stuck. So, not sure how we're gonna get him loose. No idea. Two seconds till the... Oh, wow. Okay, so because I saw he had 24,000 topor and I was like, oh, yeah, that will take forever to go down. I didn't even see the to topor start. That looks like a giant tarantula on the roof. Holy shit. Did that look like a giant spider to anyone else? Okay, let's see. Um, what do you need for a giga saddle? Um, 120. Okay, I think we got this. Let's turn this on and let me get everything else. Oh, for, fit, for Pete's sake. Yeah, no, oh my God. yeah, I can't wait to have the platform built here and have them all nicely separate. Um, okay, dude, dude, dude. Sit down.
Now we don't have any room for him. That's the problem. Oh, actually, maybe we have 120 in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hope he's still alive. Yeah, we're just gonna make a huge, Sven. We're just gonna make a huge platform. If you actually look down, this whole area where they're standing now, there will be one huge platform around the base um, where they will stand on. So cryopods, I think, were only introduced with um, extinction, was it? Yeah, I usually carry narcotics with me, but I wasn't planning on taming anything, Nicholas. I was like, ah, yeah, we leave it all at home. So, but yeah, you're absolutely right. I should never leave the house without narcotics. Oh, look at you. Oh, no, 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 you gotta fall. Road on the back of a Gigantosaurus. Now, how am I gonna do this without falling on my face? Jeez, he can just jump down the mountain like no bother. Okay, so let me see, what do we need? Um, we have 17,200 health. We definitely need more stamina. Um, I want weight at about a thousand. Oh, what? Melee damage only goes up by 10%? What? So is the, is the Giga not a fighter? Is such a low percentage. Yeah, stamina is not a lot either per point. Yeah, 
health is not a lot either at a point. Jesus, that is very... Okay, let's just dump it all into... Yeah. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Okay. So we need you to heal, so... So why don't you eat all of these? Actually, if feeding, force feeding your meat gets your health up much quicker. Yeah, that's weird. Force feeding um, the raw prime doesn't really increase the health at all. But force feeding the meat does. Okay. I'm assuming he's immune to the uh, Utosaurus fear, yeah? Actually, I want to grab. I want to grab that as a screenshot if I can. Let me see. That looks amazing. Which side looks better? Yeah, that looks nice. Beautiful. Um, kannst du denn nicht mit dem Schwein heilen? Um, oh, I could, yeah, but uh, I, I couldn't be asked going over to my pig now. Anyway, I'm gonna leave him over here. Because if he can kill my tames, I don't really want that to be a thing. So what does the shout actually do? He doesn't have a C, he has a left attack. What does the right attack actually do? That is it, is it like a fear shout or what is it? I, I don't fully understand actually what he does. So he will take an eye on this island and keep an eye on this island. So this island is protected by, by the Giga now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Neutral. Okay. Why is he spying out like that? Okay, let's see what happens when he gets attacked. Okay, he's finally finished being an idiot. Okay, good. Holy shit. I hope he's not gonna go on a rampage now and kill everything. Okay. See you later. Oh, he was trying to eat the Ark Corpse. Okay. <laughs> it's 
So um, let me get back up into the mountain because there is a portal. I don't know what it's for. Because I thought the brood mother was in a green obelisk. Are they right in there? We have to kill the Gamma Broodmother trophy, or we have to kill the Alpha, Beta Broodmother, Alpha. Okay, so once we kill the Broodmother, the Mega Pithecus, and the Dragon on Gamma, we can go in here and we can get some tech. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so I can't wait. Yeah, I never done this before. I have no idea how this works. This is the first time I'm trying to play through this. Okay, this is gonna be a long ass trip. I think we're, uh, we're gonna have to walk all the way across the edges of the frost biome, all the way around to the green, um, Obelisk. I think that's what we have to do. Unless we can get a Quetzal and can get all 20, um, sorry, 18, 19, well, 18 Megatheriums and um, one Uteranus and one Dedicatus, whatever he's called. One healer. So we get the healer, the, the, the support, the buff, Uteranus, and then 18 Megatheriums. Now, somebody said, because I'm playing on easy and have such high damage, that I don't need that high level um, Megatheriums. So theoretically, what we could do is I could try to get my male Megatherium up to about 220. And then we could take all the children that we get from two or three um, rotations, no matter what these children are. And we imprint on all of them. So I want to get Kibble first because one of the imprints could be Kibble. So imprinting on all the children means we could get... Um, we don't use any of them for future breeding. Um, we just use them for the brood mother. So we want to imprint on them, obviously, to get better stats. And somebody said that the brood mother fight should be very easy on easy difficulty with our high male stats. Yeah. But the Megatheriums are for the Broodmother, so I kind of wanted to do that first. But yeah, if we can get a Quetzal. Oh, higher mutes. Yeah, equal less needed for fight. So I don't even know what the default difficulty is. So when I play it on easy, do I need 20 in the first place? Is level 210, 20 enough? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, uh, the Therosaurus for dragons. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. But I still want to tame a Quetzal. We have a Quetzal uh, saddle, the big one. We saved up for that originally, and we're still gonna go after a Quetzal. There's actually a Quetzal right above the snow biome, by the way. And there's no trees. Well, there's a forest beside us, but uh, let's see. Oh, I never got my um, crap. I never took my ghillie, rest of my ghillie suit with me. Oh, 
Oh, I know I can't do any boss fight from any obelisk. It's just that I'm breeding megatheriums, so... I don't know if they can... if megatheriums can beat, um... the other bosses as easily. Oh, is that a drop? Is that a drop actually coming down at the same time? Oh, what is that? Let's have a look and see what we need. Okay, so I want to do the gamma one first, obviously, yeah? Minimum survivor level requirement 30. 30, 70. Okay, so for this we need um, the artifact of the hunter. I already have that. Um, the artifact of the clever. We have to. I, I have all the coordinates for all the caves, by the way, written down. So we just gonna have to find the entrances to that. And artifact of the massive. So before I go to the other two caves, because I don't know what to expect, I'm gonna bring my. I'm gonna go with um, one of my of my bio. bio by Baryonyxes, Baryonyxes, whatever they're called. Um, we have two. We have Kalkwap and we have Fish Fish Junior. So I'm gonna take um, probably Fish Junior because he hasn't leveled up yet properly. Um, I'm gonna take my scuba gear because I believe if you don't have a gas mask, you can use scuba gear to uh, protect yourself from poison. I'm gonna bring anti bug repellent and um, just in case, and that should hopefully be enough. To take with us um so artifact of the clever and artifact of the massive what do you need for higher level ones so you need the same you need the three artifacts again so you fly to the caves to the caves get the artifact they respawn i guess every now and then we have tail on definitely we have oh sarko skins i have a few at home and we have titan bow of venom we definitely have that and we have vertebrae yeah we have all that and you still need the same three artifacts. And then if you do it on highest difficulty, the same three artifacts. You just need more skin. Yeah, I actually have all that. I could theoretically do hard, but I don't want to do that. I want to do this first. And um, just to get a feel for it, you know? Oh, fish. Um, when we tamed the Uteranus, fish died. We, I, I was riding on fish. Um, I, I didn't plan on taming a Uteranus. He was kind of stuck on a cliffside, and I was like, oh, that's great. So I stood on the cliff and just hammered him, and then eventually he got loose and he started chasing me. So I uh, ran away with fish, and I was just enough away that he couldn't fear us. And then I turned around, shot him, shot him, shot him, and um, he literally just did one more scream. Then he dropped down unconscious. I got caught in the fear, run into a wall, and two, um, not gigas, what are they called? Carnos went absolute ape shit on my body and uh, slowly started eating away for 20 seconds. So we were stuck in the wall for 20 seconds, and the whole 20 seconds they were able to chew on us. And just before the time I was up, um, Fish died. He didn't have enough health. And um, I, j I literally got kicked off. And the moment I got kicked off, the fear effect was gone and I was able to run away because I have enhanced speed. Um, movement speed, 154. I was able to run quicker than them and kept sniping them with um, trunks. But yeah, fish sacrificed himself for our Uteranus that we needed for the Broodmother. So, 
Okay, so the clever, the the hunter, and uh, geez, I didn't, no, I forgot again. I was talking. So let me write it actually down. So it's the hunter, the clever, and the massive. So we already have on our map the uh, marker for this one. Yeah. So this here. Oh yeah, let's do it like this, yeah, cave, hunter artifact. Um, so this is the entrance of the hunter artifact cave. It's it's right here, um, in, in going into here, and then it, I suppose, goes all the way down underneath. Um, now the clever and the massive, I've written all that down, so let me see, the next one, we have the hunter and the clever. The clever is at, let me see, 18 and 3. How do they do the chords? Yeah, you see, the stupid thing about the coordinates is that every website, which I, I personally find that really stupid, yeah? Every website gives the coordinates of the um, artifact. So the artifact coordinates are here, yeah? 80, uh, 53, here, they're here, yeah? Here's the artifact underground. I, I really don't understand the logic, how you can give people the coordinates for the artifact, but not the coordinates for the cave entrance. That to me is the most inefficient, stupidest way of handing over information. It's like, hey, the artifact is here, somewhere underground. The cave entrance could be, well, anywhere on the map. Good luck. Like, that's just stupid, yeah? So um, I see all the coordinates are always for the artifact and not the actual cave entrance. And they never give you the cave entrance coordinates alongside the artifact. Uh, like who comes up with a system like that that is just so stupid I'm sorry if I'm sharing the information I would say this is where the artifact is but the cave entrance is here that is how you efficiently give someone information not that half assed nonsense anyway so we have sadly only the coordinates for the artifact and no clue where the cave entrance is so the next one is at let me see um, Clever artifact, and that is gonna make that yellow as well. And that is at 41.5. Now we're gonna change them to actually be the cave entrance and not the artifact. Um, oh, yeah, it's you have to go back in. So that's the clever artifact, and then we have um, the massive artifact, which is let me see, uh, hunter. There, massive seventy point six. Six point one. So this is actually what is that? The swamp cave or something? Uh, let me see. Um, oh, lava cave. Okay. And here we have the um, the clever artifact is in a. Central cave. I don't know why. Okay, it's called Central Cave. And then we have the Hunter Artifact, which is called the Lower South Cave. Okay. Now let's see where are they. So one is here, and the other one is here. So we're gonna go home and then we're gonna head for this one with the berry. We're gonna take our all our stuff we need, but we're gonna make some bug repellent um, if we can. And 
also make sure we don't show our dinos here. I don't really need to see them. Um, I'm gonna take my berry. My I, I don't know where otters are. I don't know why I need an otter. Um, I know they do something, but we should be fine with the berry. Um, we have huge uh, melee damage, so we should be fine with the berry. Um, and um, uh, gas mask, we don't have one, so as far as I understand, we can also use our scuba gear. So we're gonna take the scuba backpack uh, with us as well. Uh, green, blue, then red. Get an idea uh, of the fight, how it scales up. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I want it easy first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. If you, uh, Danny, if you have a, if you have the coordinates for the for the entrance for these two caves, that would be very much appreciated. Um. Um, but otherwise we just find them see the the first time i went to the lower south cave i was so frustrated because i thought the coordinates were for the cave entrance and i was literally on the on the marker looking everywhere and it was driving me nuts and then somebody in chat explained oh no this is not the cave entrance that's where the artifact is i was like that's just silly that they don't mention in the um, fandom websites this is the cave uh, artifact but this is the cave entrance i mean surely it makes sense to have that information together you know just i don't know yeah book repellent and stim now we should be okay because we're very overpowered on easy so like i said I did, i'm not playing this to give myself a huge difficulty challenge i'm playing this to get to know the game because i never played the island before so i i actually don't know how the bosses work i never really played arc properly so um, that's why I just say easy difficulty. I, I want to have a little bit of flexibility that I can make mistakes without constantly having to redo all my dinos, you know. And like the ones that I found the hardest so far to replace was fish because ba baryonyxes don't spawn actually very frequently. Um, we found all of our baryonyxes that we saved um, very by, by chance. Like we went looking for them. We were doing other things and we came across them. So we had to tame them, obviously, immediately. So this is where one of the caves is right here. Um, actually, where is it here? Oh no, huh? Oh, here. But that is not where the entrance is, I'm assuming. So the entrance is for the central cave is probably somewhere else. Um, on the wiki, it will tell you in white where the... Oh, it does. Um, I must. Uh, I looked at a different site. I looked at a site that had all the coordinates and it did not give the entrances. It definitely didn't. Um, so are you talking about the fandom wiki, is it? Um, let me see. So I went to the fandom wiki, uh, no, not the fandom wiki. I went, um, I think it was a random site that had all the lists and of all the cave coordinates and it had zero information about the entrances and that was so annoying. So let me see caves. Um, artifact of the hunter. So if I click on the artifact of the hunter, Yeah, it just says located in the central cave, located at 415469. Does not give me the cave entrance coordinates. And I'm looking at Arc Survival Evolved archive.fandom.com wiki artifacts. Does not give the cave entrance locations at all. It, it, it only shows the coordinates. That's the uh, that's the page I'm looking at here. So which page are you looking at? 
Because th this is what I'm looking at. Um, oh, look at the Explorer map. Okay, okay, okay. So that's why I was so frustrated about um, the, uh, the the information because that 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 uh, page I linked to only shows the cave uh, uh, the coordinates of all the artifacts. It does not show the cave entrances. Okay, so let me get rid of artifacts. Okay, cave entrance. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, that is brilliant. It shows the cave entrances on the map. That is excellent. So 41.6 and 47 is the entrance. Okay, that is beautiful. Thank you. So we're going to update those coordinates when we uh, before we set off. Because I just explore the cave and try to find the artifact in it. That's part of the exploration fun, I guess, you know, but... Um, because the caves, are, I don't think they're, they're... The first one wasn't that huge anyway. It was just a tiny cave. Yeah, thank you for telling me about the Explorer map. Oh, there's tons of berries deep in the swamp. Yeah, the swamp. I didn't go into the swamp because uh, there's leeches in the swamp and I can't uh, get rid of the poison or something that they uh, give me. I was afraid to go into the swamp. Oh, hello. Give me some of that juicy keratin, actually, please. Thank you. So I'm assuming with the berry, I'm gonna have to run around the the mountain, which is fine. I don't I don't mind too much. There's a Quetzal right over there, by the way. Um, yeah, on the other side of that blue obelisk. And it's a lovely looking one. It's nice blue. I think it has a blue um, front. Oh, look at that. We have a... Is that a purple or blue? It looks like it's blue and then goes into purple, but it's, I think it's just a blue drop. Might as well put you in your proper landing position here. That is your landing platform. see the things we have here we have everything but the Sarko skin uh, we have the Sarko skin in our original base um, but we know where the Sarkos are we have tons and tons of these we have um, tons of mag teeth um, we have eight titan boa but once we go into the swamp um, with our berry to take everything out um, we might actually see more berries so I try to kill everything but to tame the berries and that way, hopefully, um, so let's see how we make, um, what do we need for bug repellent? Let me see. Oh, I actually have some citronal and rocker root. Oh, I don't have rocker root. They're all in my other base. Ah, damn it. And the citronal went out as well. Um, citronal and rocker root. 
book repellents. Lava cave will make every man scream in frustration when they miss the jumps and fall in lava. Um, yeah, we're gonna bring the full ghillie suit, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, let me see. So, when it comes to the suits, um, also let me. Ammunition. So, we queue up here this ammunition. We leave that here. We leave that here. Let's make more trunks, actually. take them with us as well and we have food I think I can leave the bow behind um, because we're not gonna have low-level tames mm, actually you know what it only is seven kilos so I'm bringing it with me now we want to repair all our weapons here we need to repair this in the smithy hide wood and metal ingots Oh, I think we have hide in wood over there. Yeah. Repair. And might as well repair this. Okay, let's make some gravel hooks as well. What do we need? Oh, cementing paste um, and thatch and stone arrows. Yeah, let's actually put a couple of stone arrows in there as well. We have loads here. Um, what are we looking for? Thatch. Thatch. Let's bring some extra wood and cementing paste and ingots. Okay, and fiber. Yeah, we have fiber up there. We have more ingots here and cementing paste we have here. and Tave is killed okay so everybody's fine and uh, we have the arrows in here as well and cement and paste okay so grapple hooks I'm going to make let's make eight let's get more Fiber hide and thatch, 40 thatch. I want to make four, so that's 40, 80, 160. 160, and then 40. Right, and then crabble hooks go into here. And for damage, I suppose, 
trunks would be good, but you can always use the damage and then for trunks we use the pest the, the rifle. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think I'm all prepared when it comes to weapons and utilities. So we now need um I'm just gonna get some citronella and um, uh, rock. We have loads of them here. I actually bring all of them over. Um, we have to go here. Um, hope the hunt for brood is going well. Yes, we should get hopefully everything today that we need for the brood mother to spawn it in. Um, make a bed outside the cave, need a foundation to put onto it. Yeah, okay, yeah, we will do that as well, absolutely. I love these uh, iron nodes, they give like um, 180 or 200 iron straight up. They have the special veins going through it, they're like, um, what are they called? High resource nodes or something. Um, I might as well just bring it over. Um, because, uh, and I bring over my, um, whatchamacallit, my crock pot, my pots, my whatever they're called, you know. And I'm bringing my frog over as well. That will be another thing I'm gonna bring over. Because we have to level up our frog. Um, also, in the redwoods, apparently, you have beehives. Beehives is something we need for kibble. So that the last thing we need for our kibble is beehives. I don't want to sidetrack into that now. We're going to do that in a separate stream. Um, today, I just want to focus on getting all the things needed for the broodmother. That all that's left is breeding the actual army. Or the brood squad. So... I'm just looking, is there beehives anywhere in the red forest um, or are they rare? Yeah, I, know, I don't see the beehives on the trees. They're supposed to be on the uh, trees, all right. But I haven't, I haven't seen any of them yet. Because to make kibble, we need uh, honey um, or beehive honey, whatever it's called. Yeah, never seen any. They're in the red forest, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know how to tame a queen. I watched the videos already. Uh, it's just um, we need the flowers and all that. So I, I know that part. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I know all the info. I, I was just trying to at least be cheeky and steal some honey and take it with me so we can start making some of the kibble. Yeah, the thylos, they, they gave me such a fright, it knocked me right off my, um, of my Archie, actually, yeah. So bears, okay, so maybe we have to see where we can get a bear to get the honey easier without having to fight the... Yeah, these guys are gonna all starve to death at some point because I'm not really doing anything anymore. There's our frog. He's completely stuck.
What food does he actually eat? Does he eat berries? So if I put berries in you, will you eat them? Mm, do you eat meat? Do. Okay. Now, when it comes to these guys, I don't know the stats that are important. I'm assuming you need a certain amount of health, obviously. Um, he's already very fast. So if we take him to one of the caves, he's already very fast. We just, I suppose, need only weight and melee damage and then maybe a little bit into health but he's very low level so we still have loads of points we can put into him okay so now let's get the um let's get these guys here So let's really quickly check if, if, if the drop if it still is there when we get there. It's a blue drop, it's right here, so we might as well check. Oh, nice. What is that? It's a journeyman's. Oh, it's disappearing. We literally just got here. Nice. Let's see what we need and what we don't need. Um, a Mega Loceros. Oh, a Meg Sucker. Very nice. Um, yeah, these ones, I don't know. It's whatever. I actually don't use them at all. Um, oh, we have a, su a sub tab, which is great. Okay. Health, weight, melee. Yeah, weight. So that way you get loads and loads of chitin or, or paste or whatever. It, I think you put chitin into it and it makes paste. I don't know exactly how it works. We figure it out. Um, now, my fridge. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, brilliant. Look at that. Centronella, rocket. We don't need the eggs. Um, sure, might as well bring them along. Uh, take the long grass as well. I'm gonna uh, the basic kibble. Just might as well take that. And that's it, I think. Take, the, take that. And how are we doing here? Do you know what? I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna bring the generator as well. And I know it turns the fridge off. I'm taking the fridge as well and I don't care about whatever is in here. Actually, I'm gonna take these guys and there's also a few more things I want to take. Um, there we go. Oh, we can always come back here, of course. Um, What saddles do we have here? Oh, that's a blueprint. Oh, I can take the blueprints. The blueprints, are they reusable or are they one use? Yeah, I'm gonna bring all that stuff along. That's actually good. I like the, I like the saddles, we're gonna put them all in here. Um,
At least they're spoiled slower in here. Okay. Yeah, this one has a high spoil timer anyway. else we need from here might as well bring the scissors um, is there anything we want to bring on the on here no mm. might bring you along can I carry one of you in my snout and the other one in my legs if I can carry one of you in my snout that would be great Empty everything out there, so we don't have the weight. Okay, so let's see. Can I carry you in the snout? Oh no, hang on, hang on. We have to press C. I forgot. No. Okay, if we only can bring one, then I'm gonna bring uh, the frog first. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, what? We can't bring the frog. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's go. Unlimited use is awesome. <laughs> I love this look at how the guy's hanging there. Dun, 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 dun. He's like, oh, I'm flying, baby. This is awesome. We have to get the wings up, though. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is so awesome. He's like a little Superman uh, um, frog. Check the pike from the drop. Um... I have a hunt. Ooh, wow, nice. So this is 253. I love it. Thank you. I always thought purple was higher than blue. I keep forgetting that. Do you know that? That is a really awesome. Thank you so much for mentioning that. So it's a bit of a long flight back, but it's worth it. We have all the food now we need to make book repellent and the crop plots and... Um, Eventually, we're gonna relocate our our greenhouse into a bit like once we make the big whole area around the base We can relocate our greenhouse into a separate area where we um, make like a big greenhouse for all the stuff And then we can put the bug right in the middle the, the dung beetle Yeah, I always have the pike out because the pike does the pike is very good for the for the most part it does a pushback. So when you hit something it kind of gets pushed back a bit so you can theoretically continuously hit something without getting hit yourself unless you get across something really really fast like some saber tooth like saber tooth I think are just very fast they hit you regardless. Yeah, the treehouse in the redwoods. I can't wait for that for the for the uh, for the zap collector. I think we need to go to the redwood for that. So if we make a a, a base in the redwoods, then um, oh, we need to make a bed as well.
so we can um, so we have to take with us two beds one for each cave entrance and a couple of uh, platforms like I would say two platforms just so we can make a campfire beside it as well I take two campfire with me a bed and a campfire two platforms uh, two foundations that's kind of the bare minimum I guess so you can cook some stuff up if you need to oh by the way that big ass bug that dragon bug respawned yeah so i was uh, looking here at um down here where the demon bog is uh, she respawned here actually on the top of the area now i don't know if she's still there but um that's the, another thing we need to try out so we need to get a trike or well i suppose a mammoth would do as well because they have really high health so if we can tame a high level mammoth with um or is Hmm. Is there something more resistant than a, the, uh, to, um, I don't know, uh, I wonder if there's like a, um, a creature which has extremely high base health. So that if you look at her and sh her biggest status health, that is what you want um, to tank the bog. And then we're going to take um, a bow with normal arrows, we're going to take a rifle with proper ammo and then we're gonna start damaging it and bring it down and then once it's very low health we're gonna have to start using our bow and arrow oh why are you guys all excited down there you're on passive what happened okay anyway frogger ready I mean, he shouldn't have a problem underwater. He's a, yeah, he, he doesn't stop breathing underwater, which is great. Okay. And the feeding trough will look after you, so you're fine. Don't worry about it. Um, red drop in the snow. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, great, thank you. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the super shot. You could have, you could have just said uh, it was Ed Kicks, though. But thank you so much for um, the, the two pounds. Very much appreciated. Um, it's always spawn upper green uh, OB swamps. Okay. We might get a gas mask, so we don't have to bring a scuba gear with us. Shit, what's going on down there? Oh, that drop might be gone by the time we get there. It's it's already down and it's quite a distance. Is it? Oh shit. Forty-one electronics. I don't know what was in it. I only saw the electronics popping in. What else was in it, actually? Oh, and journeyman scuba leggings. Awesome. Oh, okay. Let's just look at this now in a second. Um, that was really, really good. So journeyman scuba leggings, metal arrow ammo. Ha! Huh. Can we put that? What is that for? Huh. Metal arrow. An armor and high piercing metal arrow. Okay. And um, 41 electronics. That is insane. That literally is the equivalent of um, 120 pearls. That is amazing. Oh, talking of pearls. I don't know if the guys are still there. Let's see if they're still there. I 
I'll show, I'll show you what happened. It's, um, I hope they're still there. I don't know how to transport them over to my base. Um, so I'm just gonna have to leave them there and hope for the best, but they're probably dead by now. Probably starved to death. I left plenty of food in them, but they're probably dead. But I know where to get new ones. And they're very, very easy to tame, actually. So I left them right here. Yeah, I think they're dead. Crap. Oh, it's a pity they died. No, they didn't. Huh. Oh, they're here. They are here. It just moved around a bit. Oh, hey guys. Look at our friends. So these guys here, um, right up here, are actually pearls. Let's see if you can see them. Very hard to see. I think right here we have a chance for pearls if they respawn. And they give you like, from one bite, like 300 of them. I don't know, did they not respawn yet? That's why I left them here, because of the pearls that respawn right there in the gap. Anyway. There you go. I just wanted to show you these two guys. Yeah, two anglerfish, yeah. Um, I was, uh, I found, again, found them completely by coincidence. Yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Too far, too far. Completely by coincidence, I was going for the sil for the silica cave again over there, and as I came out, I was like coming out of the cave, and I said, "Oh, I'm gonna explore the the, the the ocean bed a little bit to see if I can find more pearls," and I was literally just looking if something was a pearl, and I was concentrating. I saw this light, and I'm like, "Oh, what is that?" And all of a sudden, these two fish came right towards me with their light, and I'm like, "Holy shit! They were so scary. They're so creepy the first time you come across them. It's unbelievable." Um, oh, nice, Ankylosaurus. Take the arrows, take this, take the stem, and don't care about any of that. Actually, I care about the quarter walls and railings. Because they, they look nice mixed with the metal, but the rest I don't care about. There's another red drop. Oh, it's gone, is it? Is it gone already? I must have missed. Sorry, I missed it. Um, I don't see any more red. So it must have disappeared. I must have missed it. Yeah, sorry. I did not pay attention to the, to the drop. I was looking at the fish. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Sorry about that. 
You lost my allo to two alpha sharks there. Jesus, yeah. Uh, the anglerfish are not very strong. Um, that's that's to be said. I want to level up the melee as well. But um, are we able to catch up? Oh yeah, high kicks everyone. Rock dog, how are you doing? Over the snow mountain. Oh. Yeah, if they, uh, I'm gonna go back to base. I'm gonna catch uh, more drops the, the next time. I just want to get the pick to, to the caves now, and um, because I think that will take us a while as well to get through the caves. At least I think it will take us a while, because it's quite a quite a track to get there, and we can't carry the berry. So I suppose we could take our saber tooth. Um, should we take our saber tooth to the cave? Because they have also the saber tooth ha also has increased uh, chitin collection. Really, you want to do that? Okay. So, do you think we should carry our saber tooth to the cave with the bird, or should we just take Barry over running across? Hey, Alida, uh, Aleid, Ida. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, yeah, the map looks amazing. Why are they all stepping down? What is wrong with them? They're on passive. What? Oh shit, they're not on passive. When I told my Giga to go neutral, I set them all to neutral. Oh, balls, balls, balls. That destroys everything I've set up up there when somebody attacks. Okay, hang on a second. Ah, bollocks. Okay, um, passive. Passive. God damn it. Passive. Passive, you're on passive, Good. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in a second. Oh yeah, and you need to be passive as well, you little bastard. Yeah, I'm passive, okay. Okay, let's go. So what do I have to get rid of? Um, a lot. So we have another fridge now. That, what? Ah, oh, you're supposed to be passive as well. Yeah, I'm too fat for you now. Actually, you can fit perfectly through here. No, the penguins as well. They're such a pain in the ass to set up. Ah. Oh. Okay. to do that with stairs um uh, okay doesn't matter doesn't matter mistakes were made it's okay let me just clean everything up so um this goes in here this goes in here this goes in here this goes in here scissors scissors sap collector paintbrush yep okay ammunition our guns, do we have any guns that we found? No. Okay, ammunition. Whatever these are for, I have no idea. Um, gravel hooks we keep. Ammunition. And then we have another pike. Very nice. Um, and then for our gear. This. Okay, so um, 
I think for the caves, if we don't have a gas mask, we only need the scuba tank. We don't actually need the, the mask or anything. I think just the scuba tank allows us to breathe clean, fresh air. Is that right? Cold resist 122. I want to, yeah, I need the one with the highest durability though, isn't it? Durability 151. Two, one. Oh, durability 211, durability, yeah, so this one is the highest durability. And we need to bring things with to fix. Oh, we have to fix it at the fabricator. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring both of these along in case one of them breaks. Ah, but that's the 20 kilos. No, I'm just gonna put it on in the story and then leave this here. And then we need the ghillie ha hat and the ghillie chest we're just gonna have to not wear, I guess. Oh, do I not need it for any of the caves that we're going to? Because then I can leave it here. Yeah. Oh, great. That's good. That's great. Then we don't need to worry about it. Good. Because I want to make sure I'm prepared. Um, we can leave this here. And... Oh, yeah. Saddles. Saddles. Yeah. Okay, Archie, come with me. We still didn't get one of the Megatherium saddles. Interesting. Yeah. And then we need to put this and this in the fridge. Okay. Now we should be able to make some bug repellent. Okay, we're gonna need, um, how many foundations do we need? Four, we need to bring four foundations. And then we need to bring two campfires and we need to make two beds. What do we need for the beds? Okay, and we track that. And I think that's it. Everything else can be put away. Okay. and the food has to go in here as well. Okay, so what do we need for bug repellent? Um, we're probably better off doing it downstairs. I just want to look at the resources um, we need for it. So we have citronella, we have rockerot, narcotics and pelt. Okay, so let me get, I would say 200 narcotics and 200 pelt. Okay, so Oh, only four? How many bug repellents do we need to take with us if we if we want to take them? Um 
I suppose 24 is enough. So let's um, take them out. And do we need a lesser antidote? I don't have actually. I don't think I have any leech blood. Oh, leech blood! I, I probably have that at home actually in the other base. Okay, let's put this in the fridge. Four hours. Okay, that has a good timer on it. Very good. Oh, only need four or five. Okay. Um, well, I bring ten then. They, they, they weigh very little. So, okay. Very good. I don't think I need all of that food, to be honest. Um, and there we go. Ten should be enough. And yeah, so we are all set, I think. We have crabble hooks in case we need them. We have parachutes in case we drop. We have um, arrows which hurt like hell. We have trunk darts, we have trunk arrows. We have everything that I can think of. And we have ghillie suit. Oh, let's repair the ghillie suit. What do we need? Hide, okay. up in a second. Okay. Um, make a compound bow for cave. Um, won't need trunks, can't tame, gets cave stuff. So why do I need a compound bow then? What is the difference between that and... Uh, Yeah, I need to make the beds. Yeah, I do that now in a second. What do you mean compound bow? Oh, I don't see anything here, compound bow. No, it just has crossbow. There is no compound bow. There is no such thing as a compound bow. I don't know what you mean. I have two crossbows already and a hunter bow. But if there's nothing to tame anyway, then... Okay, in this case, yeah, I have all the damage equipped, but just in case, yeah. Um, beds, yeah. Okay, so let's make two beds. Oh, I didn't even know it was a thing. Okay. Oh, okay. So, is the compound bow better than the uh, crossbow? I mean, isn't the cross isn't the crossbow better? Ah, huh, interesting. I don't have enough cementing paste now. Maybe I do actually. Hang on, maybe I do. Um, no, there's no. Um Oh, that's where you use those metal arrows. Okay, I get it. I get it. That is awesome. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have enough paste right now. Um, I have four paste left. That's all. I don't have any paste here, do I? I have fourteen. 
Yeah, I don't I don't have enough paste. We need 60 something paste, isn't it? For the compound bow. It's 75 paste. And I don't have enough um, carrot in here. Another six, um, but if we uh, so should we bring the saber tooth then uh, with the bird and fly in, or should we um, just ride the berry over? Now, if we ride the berry over, it will take a little more time, but the berry is very good for the caves. I, I have a shotgun actually. I just don't know how to make ammunition for shotguns. Um, I don't. I didn't find any ammunition yet, but I, I did find a yellow shotgun in one of the drops. So if you're uh, there here, uh, Mastercraft pump action shotgun, 206% damage, but no ammunition for it um, anywhere. So. So yeah, we bring the saber. It's probably better. Okay. Now beds, uh, we need 160 thatch and 30 wood. So I think we have wood over here. Okay, and then thatch, thatch. Oh, it's 80 thatch each, okay. Okay, good, so we have the beds, we have that, we have everything we need. Um, I just put the paste back and then that is as light as we can travel. And um, <laughs> Origin, thank you so much for another response. But again, you can just shout at me in chat. Um, it uses the metal arrows, okay, that's actually really, really good. Um, I don't even know how to make uh, the if I have the am ammunition for the shotgun unlocked. Um, oh, simple shotgun shells. Is that the same? Does it use the same ammunition? Simple bullets, metal ingots. Oh my god, I don't know how to do any of that. Yeah, let me see. Simple bullets. Yeah, I don't have enough gunpowder now. And um, what do we need? Charcoal and spark powder. What's the, is it one-to-one? One? Okay, if it's one-to-one, one, hang on a second. Let me, one, two, three. One, two, three. So one, so three hundred um, spark powder and charcoal gave me four hundred and fifty um, gunpowder. That's actually pretty awesome. Shotgun shells is more gunpowder, so let's cure up more gunpowder actually while we're here. Yeah, cryopods are not in the game. Sorry, James, yeah. So anyway, sorry for me, like again, anybody who just joined and hasn't seen a stream before, this is the first time of me playing the island. I don't know 
a lot about a lot of things. I played the later versions of Ark a little bit, but never really the whole game as it was intended, like, you know, fighting the, the bosses, blah, blah, blah. So now uh, I never use weapons like the shotgun or anything because I only just tamed the dinos, had fun with base building, you know, and played, like, heavily modded dinos. So we have, like, level 1,000 dinos and all that, you know. It was just fun. But um, so when it comes down to a lot of the basics like this with shotguns and compound bows, I'm I, for me that is the first time I'm I'm looking at these things uh, ever, so um, so thanks for your patience as well. Like so for anybody who's just joining, so feel free to in the comments leave ideas and tips and whatever. So okay, so now we have 150 bullets, and now we make. Um, so I'm assuming this is what will fit in the shotgun. Is that right? So if I take this and take the shotgun, that will fit, okay? I'm assuming. Oh, crap, here. Yeah. So if I take this, can I put this in? No. So this doesn't work. What, what does the, what is the ammunition for the shotgun then? Oh, it is, it is, one. Oh, okay, 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 good, 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 good. So I just wanna make sure I didn't craft the wrong. So this should go up to two now. Yes. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's get more iron so we can craft the rest. Let's turn off the fire. Okay, if we're out of bullets and that's fine. Hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Absolutely, that would be very much appreciated. Um, we're doing really well that usually by the end of the stream we end up nearly at 100 likes and we consistently have over 100 people watching, which uh, for me is actually really good right now. So very much appreciate that. So we have 48. Um, whoops, what's happening here? We have 48. Yeah, so um, can we make two more simple bullets? Six, there we go, and then we can make two more of those, and then we have an even 50. Oh, we already had 50. Okay, in that case, um, 52, I guess. There we go. Okay, so if we put this here, Crabble Hook will be then here, um, Parachute is our, we're screwed, we fell off. And I can't make the compound bow right now, so we're gonna have to stay with um, the crossbow for now, with the with these arrows. I'm gonna leave the trunk st trunk stuff with me as well as the narcotics because you all know you could be in front of the cave and all of a sudden you see something amazing and you kind of go, okay, we might as well just quickly tame this. Rip the bandit off, I guess. We're over 70, boys. <laughs> no reason to hold back. Punch that button till it starts beeping. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my monitor is going apeshit. Um, I have to buy a new monitor. My monitor on the left, which I'm not using for gaming, is, is getting artifacts randomly, um, which is um, not funny. Um, let me just quickly fix those guys up up there before we leave, before I forget it. Um, you are our female. So you're back into your box. Okay. You guys are not supposed to be that close to the edge. Allowed to watch, but you have been replaced by a younger studs, so you're only allowed to watch. There you go. Okay. 
Good. Sad face. Okay, good, good. And you guys are all eating food. We have plenty of food. We still have 57, 60, and 60. Good, good, we're full. And how are you doing on food? Alright, I think we're ready to go. This is as ready as we're ever gonna get. Um, let's leave the saddle here. Yeah, you're only level 49. I might actually want to bring you a little bit into safety. Because one attack and... You're screwed. Oh no, you know what? You can also get attacked in here, so... Oh, you can't get through the door. Oh shit. Wow, you can jump. Where am I gonna hide you then? Okay. I suppose I can hide you... I'm gonna hide you right here where everybody is that will protect you. Okay. Now, Sabertooth, um, how are you doing? You are getting a couple of more points in weight until 900 and then strength. You don't need that, and you don't need that, and you don't need that. And we're gonna give you a little bit more food before we go. Ah, uh, you're gonna get some food from the bird, I guess. Okay. Where's Archie? Where's Archie gone? So the bug repellent, I just have to consume this uh, to not get uh, tor torpored, torpored, is it? Something like that. Where's my bird? Where's Archie? Huh. Something happened to Archie? Oh, you, he's in my... I forgot I put him into, into my um, base. I'm an idiot. You look so insane in that outfit. Yeah. It's like the ghillie suit and... Um, you know, the ghillie suit and the shotgun. Where is it here? It doesn't look bad. I like it. Okay, you have some more food for our dude. I'm gonna take that on me. And we can leave that here. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's go. Oh, before we fly off, we want to get the cave entrances. Okay. So, let me go to wave points and let's go. Which cave is first? Let me see. Which cave is first? The first cave we're going to do is this one. Which is the... Um, oh, the text is very small. The central, central cave. Edit and the entrance for that cave is. Let me see, central cave. <laughs> Artifact of the Clever. Yes. And the entrance is 41647. 41.6. Sixty-seven, forty-seven. What did I say? Forty-seven. Okay. 
That's where we need to be. Okay. One more save. And um, let me just make sure there's a backup save made. Um, also, you want to look at the settings. Yeah, so when we look at the settings, uh, you said something about the range of the mating. Yeah, there's only a range of one in the moment. Yeah. Um, backup armor for Arthros. Um, you see, I don't want to take too much stuff with me. Um, okay, yeah, we're gonna get we can we can take our flak armor with us. I have some nice uh, ascended flak armor. I think uh, where where at least one or two pieces are ascended. I think so. There's no settings that I could find for the range of mating, and in the moment the range is one block, which is very painful uh, to do. So you see there's everything else. There's taming multiplier, harvest multipliers, um, flyer speed, um, on, which is ignored. The speed only comes in for, for the ground mounts. There's no... And then play, and then we have the advanced rules in MISC. You have more about um, supply crates. And passive defense, creature defense, platform. Yeah, it's. What is this? Enables creatures not on a flyer, the flyer's team to stand on the flyer platform. Otherwise, they slide off. Oh, okay, so I don't have to worry about that for me. There's no setting for breeding range. Okay, yeah. So th that's what I was kind of worried about, um, that uh, that there was and I didn't see it. Um. Because in the moment I'm limited <clears throat> to the to eight megatheriums for breeding. So, um, okay, let's get some backup armor, I guess. Um, Um, flak is very good. Uh, oh, it's cold resist. Um, I don't know. Uh, chitin is it? Um, I don't know if I have enough chitin armor. I have one chest piece for, um, but they don't have any heat resist. You see, all the pieces I have are only very good for cold resist. And the ghillie is the only one for heat resist. I always used leather armor caving so I could repair on the fly if needed. That's actually not a bad idea. The, uh, well, I can take the resources with me. Like, you know, poly, poly is not that heavy, but it takes a lot of poly to repair the ghillie suit. Um, but I suppose I could um, at least take two pieces with me, I guess. Yeah, I can take the helmet with me. Which is 442 armor, so that shouldn't be too bad. So I can do this and leave that here. That should be a good mix. Oh, actually, the shoulder pad, you're right. Yeah, I can. I have a shoulder pad I can bring with me. That's actually not a bad idea. But then you have to switch armor in the heat of battle, which is very difficult, no? What am I missing? Chest. I don't think I have a flak chest, so this will have to do. What is an arth What is an arthro? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see. Oh, those guys. Yeah, we usually kill them pretty quickly. Um. They look really awesome, though. Um, I just don't want to bring a lot of weight with me, but um, I guess, yeah, the shoulder pad. Where's my shoulder pad, actually? Um, 
god, it's flying, it's, it's around here somewhere. Why is Fish Jr. all the way out there? Jesus, you're gonna get killed. You're all by yourself, dude. Don't do that. Where's my um, shoulder pad? It's the Paxel, whatever it's called. It's somewhere here. I, I think it might have died, actually. I can't see it anywhere. Yeah, I think it died. <laughs> it's gone. Because I didn't use it. I was like, I don't need it. Um, anyway, we should be fine. Uh, let's just go. We're on easy difficulty. We should be okay. Um, yeah, we take the armor with us. It's no big deal. Um, let's go. So the central cave, we have the entrance marked for that now, which is here. And then the next one, the entrance is... Um, for the lava cave. Oh, the lava cave, you said, is going to be a pain in the ass with jumping and stuff. So, the lava cave entrance is down there. Let me see. Artifact of the Pact. No, it's, oh, shit, that's really on the coast, isn't it? Artifact of the Massive. And the entrance to that is at 70.6. 86 hang on 70 points I, I can't remember Shit, hang on. lava cave freaking memory like a goldfish 70 oh 70 point six and 86 10 so oh okay that is the cave entrance okay so they actually gave us the entrance here for a change which was great okay that's really good excellent Okay, let's go. Uh, come on, the angle. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Now, central cave. We should be getting there quite quickly. Now, with the, la the lava cave, will that cause us a lot of problems? Um, Well, we're not going to need multiple artifacts of the same type. I'm assuming we can carry two different artifacts. Actually, you know what? Just in case I die, what I'm going to do is once we get this artifact, I'm going to fly back. I'm going to put it into a safe place. And then we're going to go back out because I don't want to lose two artifacts. I think at least having one artifact saved would be a good idea. So otters, yeah, I have to see where we can get an otter. I actually, I have never seen an otter in this uh, in this place so far. Oh, um, Alaida, the the Giga was stuck in a wall. We saw him by chance. We didn't go after the Giga. We literally went to explore the the the. We were going to go to the Broodmother Obelisk to check what we need, and the Giga was stuck inside. A pathway on the mountain it couldn't move so we just stood on a ledge and just I shot like what what was it about 35 40 40 bullets uh, a tranquilizer darts into it okay so let's set down here it looks pretty safeish here okay let's make sure everybody's following me and I'm gonna actually put yeah I'm gonna put everything in the bird once we get there so I'm assuming we have to walk around here
trees and foliage, the nemesis. Okay, hang on. Um, we are. We must be close by. Is this it? Somewhere here. Oh, there was a more shop. Oh, flat, yeah. Oh, shit, we just went over the edge. So, where's the cave entrance? I mean, I assume it's somewhere below us here. Okay. Um. Oh, it's back where I landed. Okay. It was up here, I think. Hang on, let me just go back on my bird. Oh, here we go. Okay. Actually, hang on, let me make that a bit lower, so I can actually use it. Uh, one bed, thank you. And a campfire. Can you land? Now I don't want you to follow me now. Neutral, but I want you to follow me. Okay, good. Now I can in here put the rest of the stuff in, so I don't need to hold on to it. I don't know why I took that with me. Um, book repellent. This can be thrown out, this can be thrown out. I'm gonna give that to you because my tiger has loads. I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, but you can hold on to it. So, I'm assuming we're not gonna be there doing much, so I can actually put the... Put that here. Put the shotgun here. Put the gravel hook here. Okay. Parachutes we don't need probably in here, but um, I suppose I put them on here anyway. And how long does the book repellent last? 10 minutes. Okay. 
So we used that at the entrance at the beginning of the cave. Okay, let's go. Um, crotch torch? Um, shit, I don't have a torch actually on me. Um, what do we need for that? Um, one flint, one stone, one wood. Seriously? Oh, okay. Okay, not that it will set the cut on fire, but here we go. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, we can actually do that. Um, let's also make sure we're reloaded on everything. This cave is much better. The other one was lagging like balls when we walked in. I have a second torch with me. Um, actually, I don't even think we need the torch, to be honest. Um, how can I... I think we're okay. We don't even need it. Were it not restricted to the waters, Carcharodon Ultramegalodon would be one of the most dangerous creatures on the island. As powerful and dangerous as the Tyrannosaurus is on land, Megalodon is near its equal in the water. In addition, it has a speed advantage over any non-aquatic creature when submerged. Megalodons need large quantities of food to sustain themselves, so they attack most creatures immediately on sight. Smaller fish are the sole exception I've seen. I believe this is because they cost more energy for megalodons to catch than the predator would gain. Having access to the resources and treasures hidden deep within the ocean is near impossible without a domesticated sea creature. The megalodon, though difficult to domesticate, proves to be very useful when exploring the deep sea. It's not the most efficient swimmer, but it should be able to protect your cargo should you find yourself in a hostile encounter. Oh shit, my armor is already gone, are you kidding me? Ah, bloody hell. You weren't kidding. Oh, bug repellent, you're right. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, okay. What does it do? Bug repellent, but what does it actually do? Bugs don't like to attack you, so don't attack them. Oh, okay. But these guys will obviously still attack. Me. 
He's not attacking me. Okay, okay spider still attack me. Ah, crap. Well, I suppose if we get the jump on them, they're not really attacking me. Should we jump down there? I don't know if I want... I want to find the proper... Is this the proper way down there? Because if I jump down there, I'm going to get attacked by everything. What is that thing in the middle? Is that like the root of some tree or something? Okay, we all calm down like 400% now. Oh shit. Where's that scary centipede? I want to attack it from behind so I can get the jump on it. I think we're okay. <sighs> wow! Kiting for days. And what? Seriously. That's, you want to do that? Okay. And I'm assuming the saber cut makes it one kilo. No, it's actually very light. Okay. So in this case, get rid of all the height. We don't need all the height. And we don't need the keratin because we have lots of kit, uh, chip in here. And the mead, we don't need all the mead. Oh, nice. Are we doing on armor? Yeah, this is this is good. We're doing good on armor. Let's eat something. Um, actually, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. I think that's enough chitin, so I think we can turn off uh, resource gathering now. Yeah. Oh, this is where the artifact is. Shit, there's more stuff to kill. Interesting. So, okay. What is this glowing rock? Can we mine that? I can't get up there. Mine 
find this. How to get back out? Um, I suppose there is an official way out. We jumped kind of down the cliff, so. Oh shit! Oh, I got scared there for a second. Yeah, we were here. We were here. So let's go back up. Oh no no no! Don't be doing funny things with loading now. getting out yes is that it yes we made it that was good safe yes safe okay so this is actually where the entrance is so I need to make a new wave point here you see, that is where the entrance is, not there. So I don't know where I got that location from. It's cave entrance on the Dodo deck side. That's that's definitely wrong. So if I go to wave points, um, central cave, um, X, cancel, central cave, delete. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a wave point right here. Oh yeah, we should change the icon of the central cave to match the other ones. There we go. So that's the entrance. Oh, we are going back to the base first. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, So now... Um, you follow me, and you follow me, and you. There we go. Okay. Wow, that was good. Um, yeah, I, di I didn't see any more. Um, I didn't want to stay longer in the cave. Um, we, I don't mind going back to the cave for cave loot. Uh, separately, but I don't want to risk right now losing the um, drops. And that ghillie suit is useless. Holy shit. Because at least the flak I can repair on my bird. Like, so if I get hurt, I can repair the. I mean, I can repair this th technically here as well. But we need organic polymer, which. Oh, only two? Hang on a second. Which one was the expensive one? Organic polymer three, two. Yeah, why does that say 45? Oh, so it's cheap when it's completely destroyed, but it's expensive when it's not completely destroyed? Well, in that case, I'm just gonna take some polymer with me. Acid runes armor quick. Um, what do you mean go back for another artifact before it respawns? Um, there's only one artifact in there. I can only carry one of the same type of artifacts uh, um, anyway. Unless I apparently have an order, but... Oh, it's expensive because it's ascended. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna... Um and it has more armor as well, actually, so yeah, it makes sense. Um, why should I, why do I need to get the artifact before the, before it responds? Um, I, I, I have two now, so I just need one more, which is the other cave we're going to.
Yeah, but I don't want to lose it. The game sometimes crashes and then it resets, so I want to create a save and... Um, actually, you can stay right here. No, actually, you have to come here because of the chitin. Oh yeah, where are we gonna put your points? A little bit into weight until you're a thousand and then the rest in melee damage. And then we're gonna do some health again. So how much do we have? Um, 5,320, holy shit. <laughs> so let me see. Um, 5, 3, 20 divided by 16, that means 332 times 32. Yeah, so we need 10,640 stone. I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carry a few and start kicking it off. That was very quick. Well, that's all the stone I got. Okay, so let me repair my suit. Probably should turn their mating off until. Is that the male? Is that the male? Which one is the male? This one is the male. Come on. Come on. No, follow me here. Come on. Oh, great, great, great. That's actually good. Oh my god, fuck. Fuck nipple. I think I might as well stay in flak armor, to be honest, I mean... I don't think there's much point bringing the ghillie suit. Provides moderate physical protection, yeah. I don't know. Oh, the lava cave we needed for the heat. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay, yeah. See, we can't repair it unless we repair it in the smithy, I think. Can we? Or can we craft it here? No, we can. So 
we should be able okay fiber hide and organic polymer fair enough so if i take so i'm taking 200 polymer with me um you have to refight the same boss so multiple artifacts oh no i know i need it I, I need to fight the boss multiple times but i uh, i want to just do one run first so i'm gonna get the um where's the other where's my artifacts here so i have one artifact the hunter artifact this one is the second now and I'm gonna get the third one now, and that is me getting ready for the Gamma Broodmother. Then all we have left is breeding our army um, I, I, on easy. Maybe it's enough to have them at level 230 or 20, so I will probably breed them up to 220. And then we create our first um, army, and I already have the, the Deodon for healing, and I already have the one of the uteranus is um, for let me see they need stamina so this one has 10,600 stamina and this one uh, it's only a little bit of stamina so I didn't really invest much stamina here so 22,400 health 8,300 food yeah this one is the one that we take with us um, with the big buffed stamina Yeah, this one here, I've pumped melee damage in instead because I'm not taking that one with me. You're in the way, dude. Okay, so... Um we have the suit, we have some ammunition. Didn't need the healing, oddly enough. Um, so... I don't... I won't need... Yeah, I'm gonna put the tools in the bird when I'm done, because we might need to get a little bit of uh, resources. Let me put some stuff away. Trophy, that's trophy stuff, yeah. Trophy, now we have 10. And that's it, and let's put the hours away. Okay, so we have everything here. Okay, the lava cave now, that's gonna be complicated, I guess. Um, um, you're a US soldier in the late 60s and the bushes have ice and guts. <laughs> so, um, what's the story with... Um, like, if we go to the lava cave, there's no point bringing flak armor, really, because we're just gonna start dying of heat. Or should we still bring it anyway? Because I think the ghillie armor is the only thing that blocks that that will block the the heat. And maybe we can put one piece of armor on, I suppose, because in the end of the day, 32. This is 35 heat resist. The lowest heat resist we have is the, sh the feet and the head. So we could theoretically do this and this and do a nice mix. Because we have an ascendant pair of leggings, that makes up for the other two not being in the inventory. So I think having that mix probably will be enough. I'm, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna put flak here. I can always recraft the ghillie pieces, so I'm not too worried. 
Um, everything is replaceable. I bring one on me. The, I mean, sure. Yeah, we have we have uh, Mastercraft things, but you know they were drops. In the end of the day, I have no issue using a normal crossbow or whatever. You know, so it's fine. So if we lose this, I'm okay with that. Um, what soup is that? Because I have some soups here. There's melee damage, I'm getting increased movement speed, crafting speed. That's a mind wipe tonic. Okay, consume it again, increased hyperthermic insulation and slow your rate of water consumption. Is hyperthermic for heat? Yeah, Kalian soup, okay. Um, I have stimulant over here. So stimulant. I have tinto berries here. Major berries Ugh. and the yellow ones as well. Okay, we need all of them. We need this. Oh, okay, I'm all out of major berries. Are you bleeding? No. Okay. Nature berries and then the yellow ones as well. Oh, seriously. Ah. You're such a slow ass swimmer, dude. Oh my god, they're just not getting these berries. What is with those berries? You're so slow. So if we use the soup, we can use the flak armor, I guess. That's good. Finally, okay. He can't have it's a beefcake. He's built for the long haul, not for speed. 
Yeah, he's pretty speedy on land. So yeah, this is really good. Thanks for, for all the info on the chat because um, I I thought I, I would have been prepared if I would have played by myself. I would have forgotten the soup. I would have forgotten... Well, not forgotten. I just wouldn't have known. I just wouldn't have um, been, uh, been able to remember things I don't know, obviously. Okay, dude. Now. Give me those berries. So we have two of those. And we have the other ones already put in. And then what do we need for the soup then? And what's left? Citrono. Citrono. I have... Where is my Citrono gone? You guys saw me put a full stack in there. Why is Citronel continuously disappearing? Who's eating it? Who's constantly eating my Citronel? Every time I put Citronel in here, it's gone two seconds later. What the hell? so frustrating and I just throw out all the stupid seeds yeah but we had still some left we didn't use it all did we not oh I left it probably in the fucking smith in the in the I left it oh I know where it is I think I know where it is I left it in the If I have any left, it's in that stupid um, pestle. Oh, where did we make it? Did we make it in the pestle or the chemi station? If we made it here, it's gone. Because if I left it in here, it's gone because they, it expired. I forgot to put it back in the fridge. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think we are out. Yep, no soup for us. Oh, loads of crashes and lost my staff to death. Did you turn off DLSS if you have an RTX card? Um, uh, the DLS, DLSS and frame generation that causes a lot of bugs, uh, a lot of crashes. Let's see if we get any citronal seeds. Yeah, that will do. Jeez, I can't believe I don't have an aneurysm at this stage. The guy is on top is like. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you here, okay, because I'm just faster doing it by myself swimming, okay? Yeah, so the clouds, the cloud stuff is just for the frames, yeah? So uh, it doesn't really prevent any crashes. The one that fixed for me the severe crashes where I lost shit tons of progress, where the, uh, is when I had DLSS and frame generation on. Once I turn that off, I, I haven't had a crash like this in the last three, four days since I did it. And bef just before that, it would have crashed at least once a session. So, um, let me see. Um, let's go into here. Not for it. Oh, eh? I just took it out. 
not fertilize long okay do you know what that will solve the problem I think thank you So I don't think they grow that fast, so we're not gonna have soup. Um, but it is what it is. There seems to be a problem with DirectX 12 from what... Yeah, true believer, DirectX 12 has some, other, some, some issues as well, but I think that only affects the lower end cards. From what I understand, um, from what I understand, it's anything t RTX 2000 series. Um, the RDX helps a lot, and anything that should actually have graphics card strong enough to play it, um, uh, the DLSS will prevent the crashes. Um, but you're right, yeah. So if the DL, if if you turn the uh, Danny, if you if you have the DLSS off, a frame generation, and it still crashes, have a look at DX12. I think the DX12 stuff was um, was that not to do with AMD or something cards, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think AMD had a whole set of different issues, but NVIDIA cards um, mainly crashed because of the DLSS stuff. So, but I, I could be wrong, completely wrong. Um, so I don't think, are they, do they grow fast enough? I mean, we have 90%. And maybe we're lucky and we get, get, get a few quickly. I don't know. They are growing quite quickly. We have 90% um, greenhouse effect on these two, and this one as well, actually. Um. Um, crystals, we should have crystals. Ah, oh, I had so many crystal. Are they all gone? Whatever I crafted, they're gone. Damn it. Okay, no matter then. Yeah, if we don't have repellent, then it's we're gonna have to take a mix of this. I'm gonna take these to Wisman in case I get overheated. But um, anyway, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. So let's go to the next cave. Just double check one more time here. Oh, we got already one. Ah, we got a seed instead. Yeah, by the time we're back, we get more. So anyway, let's let's do it. Oh, going into boxes. Yeah, it could be. Uh, it could be on the um, DX12 then as well. Definitely have a read up on that. Uh, you got a horse today, I can use uh, all those damn lances I keep getting from the drops. Nice. Um, I have a few lances as well, I couldn't figure out what they were for. Um, where's the bird? Oh yeah, my bird is down there. Okay, let's go. 
I guess. It's gonna be as good as it gets. You're empty. You have food. You have my stuff in there, the bed. Yeah, sorry, that bothers me that I have the paste in there. That's just really annoying. in the show. Oh, God damn it. Um, I also have to make them follow me, actually, these two. Oh, lances are for PvP. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going for the lava cave. That should be interesting. And uh, don't... Danny, try go to the link and post it, fix it for me. Um, I don't think we allow links in, ch in chat. YouTube has a big hissy fit about links, so, so I don't think you will see that, that links post in chat. It could be that they do, I don't know. Um, I think YouTube has an issue with that, so we turned them off. And we had a lot of uh, people come in to send links to porn sites and all that, so... Um, check the entrance? What do you mean? Oh, sorry, I didn't see your message there. Sorry, yeah. Oh, yellow drop. Could be so good. We're not getting sidetracked. We're staying on mission. Focus. Oh no, you can post links, Klaus. It's absolutely fine. It's just uh, um, when people post actual hyperlinks like uh, to website, that was disabled. So. since 3000 now I don't know if that is the entrance to the cave or just again the location of the cave but we'll see when we get there I haven't uncovered the map actually over there is this an underwater cave because it seems to be on the coast on the beach I hope my saber tooth it doesn't die now. <laughs> he probably will. But um, if we're gonna fall in the lava, we're dead. I would say. Um, I was going to take Fish Junior Mojo, but I can't carry Fish Junior, and it's just faster for us to um, carry the saber tooth and fly across. The saber tooth is actually just as good. It's um, just not as high level yet. It's right on the coast, okay. Um, also, I don't want to see the other ones on the map. They confuse me when I look at the map and I go in circles. So let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Okay. 
Oh, water caves. Are There's actual water caves. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, look at that spino. It looks so cute. So small. So small. It pooped on its head. So should we come from the beach side to find the entrance or should we go through the forest? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I actually haven't uncovered the area yet, so this is all new. So this is where the artifact is, I believe. Um, so we need to find the cave entrance. Said it's on the cliff face, so I wonder if uh, trees are here. Is it on the cliff face outside? Like here somewhere? So it is on the coast side. Okay, so the entrance to the cave. This looks like a cave entrance, possibly? Oh, you should drop your tame before you land. Yeah, okay, I will do that from now on, yeah. It's more east. Oh, it's more east. Oh, okay. Um, so... It's, it's more east? Like here or something? Wow, how big is that cave? No, east. Knee on a side of Russian. Um, it's e oh, it's over here or something. Oh, okay, I see. It's probably that little dot there. I see what he's saying. More east. Sorry, I, just, I got my east and my west mixed up. Is 
Is it this entrance here or something? Really? What is attacking? Still more east. Oh, wow. Okay. How big is that cave? Surely it can't be more than this now. I mean, we're walking literally into a different time zone now at this stage. Oh, uh, sorry. What you see is 10, 12 seconds after me. Kix is like the energy of the body today. Um, I'm literally about to have this go in 150 meter turn left. I thought it was this there, but that doesn't seem to be it. Keep going, keep going around more. Oh my God. Like how far away is that cave? <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Is it down here? Ah, come on, seriously, this is this is not, we're not even in the same. Like, look where we are. Like... It's this here, is it? Along the cliff. Um... Okay, okay. So what do you actually say? I don't know how far behind you are. Like, um, I, I think the stream is um, 12 seconds behind, but I'm not 100% sure. So I don't actually know what you see exactly. Okay, so.
Is that it? Oh my god, the tiniest gap. Okay. I think we found it. Now we can at least see what's going on. Okay, so now... If we need to repair this, what do we need to repair it with? Um, sorry, is it not? Um, some fiber I think and some hide we get hide inside the cave so let me see fiber and hide yeah okay. let me just get some fiber here oh what am I doing yeah. like what idiot how to make things complicated when you don't have to okay so we have this and hide we're gonna get inside most likely so let's turn um, harvesting on okay let's go oh actually before we go let's do a proper save and you're gonna have to follow. Uh, mind the pits of fire, it seemed to get him there. Yeah, so now we're gonna go in there and it's gonna get really sore um, because we're probably gonna get out. Let's go. 
Oh, sorry, we don't want to want saber tooth to die. So give me a second. Okay, we got, oh wow, it drops down to 10 frames per second. Wow, this cave is running on literally 15 frames, guys. What is going on? It's not going up, it's stuck at 20 frames. Wow, this whole cave, look at this. Look at the, the frame drops. That is insane. Oh, okay, so I'm not putting it on follow, okay. Like, I don't know if we can do this cave if it runs at 20 frames per second. Like, the game runs at, at, at it's literally 70 frames, and then the cave is 25, 20, 25 now. That is insane. Oh, will that choke me, that gas? No. this Whoa. this is amazing so I'm probably gonna go into the fire because I literally stutter frame this is a slideshow here nearly wow This looks amazing though. Is there anything we can turn down on lights? This is ridiculous. Okay. Didn't expect that. Still running in uh, 20 frames though, by the way. So that made zero difference. Oh, that, that, <laughs> I... Armor wise, still good, still good. Very good. How are we doing on crap? So, can I actually tell it to stop picking up crap? No! Fuck, why are you doing this? You're neutral. Stop chasing shit. Um, 
Disable victim item collection. Yeah, and then then we should be okay, I think. Because he keeps picking up all that shite, like the berries and... Uh, come on. Like the berries and all this nonsense. According to the map, the artifact is over there. Oh, sorry. Uh, don't have it on follow. was scary. Uh, dude, can you like duck? Is that the wrong side? Because I supposed to go here. I think that was the wrong side. Yeah. Shit. Maybe down here? No. I know the icon is up there, but it's just the general direction because when we place the icon, it um, doesn't know the height, obviously. Let's make sure you don't get overburdened all of a sudden. Um, are we doing on armor? Okay, we're doing okay. So I can now repair it in my inventory if I need to. This is so scary. Oh man. Passive. But then it won't protect me if I get knocked off. Oh, usually I pull the butts to me. This one I was just, um, I, the two I saw, I was kind of a bit uh, eager. But yeah, you're right. Usually I back up and let them come to me and I back up so that I can hit them more than once. You're absolutely right. Okay, we're still at 26 frames. Um, kill themselves all that's great we have to go over there No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, this is not where it is. It's not here, the artifact. Okay. So we have to go probably there to the left. I'm so confused. Where do we have to go? I mean, that's where we came from pretty much, so... That's what I thought. I thought it was behind us. Maybe it is here. No, that's where we came from. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't mind about the cave loot drops too much in the moment. Uh, I just want to find the... And so, oh, you mean I don't get the artifact at all? The ar you're saying the artifact should have been there? Well, I don't know. Yeah. So let me see where the artifact is supposed to be. So if I head to here, I don't know if this is actually the correct coordinates because I changed them. So lava cave, um, yeah, so. Let me check. Lava Cave is 7686.1. Yeah, but on Explorer map, the artifact location is Which is all the way back there. No, that's that can't be right. Eighty-seven ten. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can I not read sixty-seven ten? Sixty-seven ten. Yeah, and eighty-six. Lava 
flat and iron. Did they get them mixed up the other way around? Because the funny thing is, they they say these coordinates I just typed in, but they show that the artifact is actually here. Yeah, so I think they got the coordinates wrong. No, 67, hang on, yeah, 67, 10, 87, 86. So if I go here, 60, because, yeah, 67, 10, 86, yeah, this is 75. That is not right at all. It's supposed to be somewhere around here, which is 76, 86, 1, which is the other one. Yeah, they got the they got the coordinates completely messed up on Dodo Dex. Yeah, 70.6 and 86.1 is the location of the artifact. Yeah. That also doesn't look right at all because they show it over here on the map. That is so strange. Oh, they got, la no, latitude, latitude, 70.6, longitude. Yeah, that is so strange, very strange, I don't know. Basically, they show the coordinates, and then they show the location with the dot on the map, and the two of them don't match. So, they made a mess of it. Oh, the codes for Ascended are different. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't, um, okay, so in that case, there's nothing down here, so we have to go back out and try to go into a different direction, because there definitely is nothing down there. So let's see, oh, there it is! Oh! Now, sneaky, this is where it is. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into wave points. We're gonna delete this one. And we're gonna put a new one in where we are right now. Lava cave entrance. Cave artifact. There we go. Nice. So there we go. We got the two locations now. Oh, great. Oh, that's a loot drop. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, we've got a blueprint. Got a blueprint. Got a blueprint. Got food. Ah, uh, sorry, it was a blueprint. I got really excited there. So, hmm, okay, so the artifact is not there. So we came from, did we come from here? Yeah, we came from here. Then we destroyed everything here, we went into here, so let's, we did the big loop. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a, it's, it's a big loop. So the artifact has to be somewhere. Hang on a second. So, oh, there's more here. Okay. We went over. Yeah, but mm, I don't know. We went already over here. This is confusing.
How's our armor doing? Oh, we're doing okay. Jeez, these rocks look amazing. Something down here. And something up there, which probably goes in the same direction. Oh shit, there's loads of stuff going on there. Let's just back up for a second. And let's see what's up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there in a second. I just want to check what's over there. So, ah, oh, shit. Okay. So, this is all very tense. There's an out of there's um, experience box down there. I should definitely get that. Oh, I can hear it. I admit there are times when it is useful to live among simpletons. For example. I was able to trade several gallons of my Lazarus chowder to a group of hunters in exchange for an entire contingent of tamed Gigantopithecus. And they never questioned whether it had been tested on humans yet. Well, I suppose if they return with another batch of apes, then I'll know that Lazarus chowder doesn't cause asphyxiation, won't I? <laughs> it's not exactly a conclusive scientific trial, but I suppose it will serve. Unfortunately, all these primitive primates have given Rockwell Manor quite the pungent odor. Ugh, Isabel said she is working on some sort of air freshener, but I hope she makes haste. Here oh, wow. is another example of a creature that seems to have evolved beyond its historical traits. Everything points to this being a saltwater ray, but Manta Mobila has developed the ability to swim into the island's rivers and shallows as well as through the open ocean. Perhaps there were originally two types of ray on the island before. So it's definitely but here. Years I could of hear interbreeding it. combined their lineage. Normally docile, Manta mobula is a carnivore, only in that it naturally consumes plankton. Get yourself an otter next time you go for artifacts. They're the only dino that can hold them. So you pick one up and out it in them, and then you can hold one yourself. Yeah. Um, th yeah, everybody's saying that. I just don't know where all this are. Fortunately, Manta is usually not aggressive, unless encroached. Its tail is incredibly sharp and can pierce through thick hide and armor with ease. While not the fastest swimmer around the island, Manta Mobula is among the deadliest of small ocean mounts. Tribes who value striking power over speed often keep large schools of Manta to ride. Its capability to briefly leap out of water provides it a showy tactic for avoiding combat as well. A quick jab through the heart of an unsuspecting survivor can easily take them by surprise. Thusly, many tribes use it as an escort for their slower cargo carrying swimmers. Okay, so let's look here first. Hmm. What?
my god, would you stop? Where are they coming from all? Jesus, there's so many of them. Actually, I'm completely lost now. I, d Fuck, I'm stuck. I don't know where I went and where I still have to go. I'm so lost. Let's make a little bit of room. Um, Yeah, when in doubt, go down. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Jump, let's see what's here. Megaloceros latus coronum is a very skittish herbivore, found mostly in the forests and mountains of the island. Because of its large size, its fraught demeanor would be strange in any other place. But Megaloceros knows how fierce the predators of the island are, and that it is safer to oh, flee from over them there? than to risk its life in a fight. The atlas of Megaloceros are very large, and make for an excellent source of keratin. This, of course, makes it a valuable resource. Is it over Unfortunately, there? Unfortunately, hunting Megaloceros is not easy because of their quick speed and ability to bound over most obstacles. Megaloceros is a jack-of-all-trades creature, and many who ride it value its versatility. It is decently powerful, and its resilience, there speed, it and ability to jump often come in handy. How do we get Finally, over there? the male Megaloceros charging horn attack tends to cause targets to bleed decreasing their health, stamina, and speed until healed. Ah! Oh! Okay, you just kill yourselves. That's okay. They're gonna come up here, obviously, eventually.
that's exactly where it shows on the map but these coordinates are so nowhere near um correct like on dodo decks yeah it shows literally exactly that location on the map but look at this these numbers are completely different so and this is what confused me the um let me just fix this here quickly so again on dodo decks on the map this is where it shows the artifact but then it shows the coordinate name the latitude and longitude of this location here which is weird so they're completely wrong with the mix and match so how do we get back out do we jump across here and there just jump across here or no that doesn't look like an exit um can i crabble with my mount go towards the base entrance oh okay so what you're saying is with the otter i could sit here now and wait another 10 minutes and yeah okay let me just try that um crabble hook now you see i can't crabble with the dude In truth, how are you? Um, that, that was a very close call, yeah. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Um, and I suppose we could do with a little more health, actually, as well. Um, okay, so we got the artifacts now. Now we just have to make our way out, which should hopefully be easy enough. We just have to go up. Let me just mark the spot. So this is where we have to go. Oh, okay, that's a problem. Yeah, we won't be able to, to get up there now. Oh crap, we have to go from the other side, okay. Bush dialogue. He likes to hide out in the nearby bushes. Yeah, I see that's where we ah uh -huh. so we have to go here. I'm so confused. But then here Oh, it's around the corner here, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that looks like a bigger jump. Um... Oh shit, he didn't jump, he just ran across. That was really scary. to go up here yes
Yeah, loads of frames. There's the entrance. I can see it. I don't think I have been clenching for so long in one go. Holy crap, man. <sighs> okay, just make sure that there's a proper save done. I had a lot of poker moments in this cave. Yes, I did. Holy shit. That is absolutely true, yeah. Um, wow, that was intense. Jeez, the stream went on a bit longer than I expected. Sorry, we're going towards five hours now. I'm just gonna bring the artifact home and um, that's it then for today. But holy crap, man. That was amazing. Look at all the, the chitin. Yeah, the sorting works. Oh yeah, sorry, it's by weight, that's why. Um, Yeah. Wow, what a trip. And our armor actually did really well here. So bug repellent was kind of pointless in this cave, but um, let's put you guys to neutral. Let me just walk behind you and then I can lift you up. So yeah, while I have the cave entrance here for the other one, where's the other one gone? Up there. So that's the cave entrance. So central, uh, yeah, so this is the entrance and I have to make that white for that reason. So what we're gonna do is next time I go there to get a second version, I'm gonna mark where the actual artifact is. So that way I have two markers here, one for the artifact and one for the cave. Um, this cave here was actually pretty straightforward. I don't think we needed the marker here, but um, this is the entrance as well. I might as well make this um, white too. So I know it's the entrance. And then if I go to the artifact, I make another artifact. Um, okay, why, why? That was intense. What is the monkey artifact? What are you talking about? So the brute mother is yeah. So now what we have to do is we have to. Um, actually, I want them. I don't want them marked. That's just nonsense. I don't need them. Marked. They confuse the hell out of me now. I just want the base marked, and that's it. Yeah. A sec oh this the second boss. Um Okay. Let's do the brute mother first. Uh, so I don't again I don't know how difficult the brute mother is. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is um like I said, I'm gonna try to get my megatheriums up to 220, the dad anyway. So there's gonna be a couple of rotations. Um, I'm gonna make sure that, well, it's gonna take a while because um, unless I find a natural 150 megathero megatherium female, um, that has higher stats than my current ones, uh, it's gonna take a while. Uh, Shade tree, my, my current megatheriums are uh, only level 200 or 206. 
I know I'm playing on level easy, but is that enough? If I bring like uh, 18 of them with me, is that gonna be enough? I mean, I, ha I have my... Oh, look, there she is. There she is. There's another one. Oh, man. What a beauty. Oh, shit. No! No! Where's my, where's my body? Where's my body? No! Sabertooth! Where's my Sabertooth? Fuck! Where did I lose Sabertooth? Here he is. How the fuck did that happen? Oh my god! I must have accidentally right clicked. Oh my god. Yeah, I right clicked when I was zooming in with my scope. Holy shit. Um, they get 300% damage to books and it's it's all books. Yeah, no, I get that, uh, but I still would assume that you need, like, a strong squad. Yeah, there was a Quetzal. Um, we're still gonna have to get our Quetzal. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna go out and, um... It's a pity I can't carry the the, um, the Megatherium with my with Archie. Yeah, Rhino gazing exactly. I'm like looking at it, and I I, I was wanted to zoom in with my scope, and I, I, you right click to zoom in. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Actually, we're running out of stamina. We're gonna have to land somewhere here. Because we're very heavy, we, we, that's why we're running out of stamina quicker. So I'm gonna have to set you down here. Until I have my stamina back. Oh, they give me a heart attack. My level 150 racks on normal hits for 250 destroying damage. I think I used 20 racks for Brute Mother. Did not lose any if there were just whatever every my breeding pair gave me so you used 20 150 rexes on normal difficulty and that was fine against the brood mother huh okay well i mean we have our breeding parents so the worst that happens is that i lose all my dinos and that's fine you know? That's the whole point. And when we go there, I will probably only have my flak armor and not really... Like, I don't need any of my... Um, I don't think I need any of my weapons or my gear, really. So we can leave all that behind and just take cheap-ass versions with us, like, that are, like, crafted. Y you know what I mean? So all that yellow stuff that I have in the bar and the ascended spear, I leave all that at home when we go for the brute mother. I'm just gonna take basic crafted versions. Just get a male kick up and free 20 of them. <laughs> Do you know how big of a breeding pen? You oh on, never mind a breeding pen, you know, you just literally um you, you, you just basically leave them out in the open, like, you know, take over the whole island. Um, the saddles I have, I, I only have crafted saddles, that's all. I, I don't have anything better than that. But, um...
Oh, gigas are not allowed, is it? Okay. So anyway, uh, I think we're gonna go and I'm just gonna keep taming in between streams. Um, so we're probably gonna stream tomorrow, uh, seven days to die, because I will need some time to breed my megatheriums. And we'll work on the base a little bit as well while I wait for the guys to breed. And um, hopefully I will get a few levels up. And once I'm at, I suppose, I should get to 210 to 12 very quickly. And then we can try to make, um, I would say 10. We take then the 10 offspring. I can make eight babies at a time. So we're just gonna uh, basically... Oh, that's a beautiful color. Unless that's blood. Don't click any buttons. Oh, it's an alpha T-Rex. Oh, wow. Only level 20, though. Nah, I'm not gonna chance it now. Screw it. I'm, I'm not gonna... In the end of the day, it's gonna be killing Charlie. Not Charlie, sorry. It's not Charlie, so I can't really kill him. Yeah, so I am I keep pushing stats um, on that. See, I, every time I get here, it looks like a giant tarantula on top of my base. Yeah, it showed taming option for the alpha, but I think it's wrong. It just shows taming options for the rex. Not, you know what I mean? And it doesn't really know that there's a difference. Okay, so... Oh shit, you're still on follow, aren't you? Yeah, I got loads of saddles, just not any mags. That's actually a blueprint. So... That is a Mega Los Lockerus, whatever the hell that is, I don't know. Um, here's all our blueprints. There's no Ethereum. Okay, good. Um, let me put the artifact down. Nice. Hmm. You look different than the other two. It's very weird. They start going slower after a while. Okay. No, 
know that's not cold when this is my poofy gloves. I actually don't have any poofy gloves. Interesting. I'll leave the ghillie suit gloves on there. And the shoes. That should be enough for the heat and everything. Um, now we can actually make soup as well. Okay, that's all regrown. That's long grass. There we go. Titan, Chitten. <laughs> we have way too much Chitten here. Oh, this is hilarious. Who would have thought I ever have too much? Um... even fit in. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it's just gonna have to stay in your inventory for a while. You can give me all the height though. I think, well, some of the height. I have a whole box full. I don't even know if I fit all that height in. We'll see. And... You can give me some of the meat, actually. That's it, I'm full. Um, okay, now we just need to make sure we don't even need any of those for the gamma um, difficulties, so that's fine. Why can I not make this? Oh, duh. Yeah, that's enough. So Okay, good. So how long is it ta Oh, it actually so it doesn't take too long. So it should be okay. We have enough here on no fire. So 
so we can take that with us next time we go into a cave. We can put this in the fridge here as well. Put this in the fridge. Yeah, what it, this is weird. There was a recipe uh, serving street. What is that? Uh, Rockwell recipe. Three meat, ten berries, four medicine, any container of water that is more than 25% full. What is that recipe? I love this game, always something to do, no matter how much time you put in. Yeah, it's crazy. It's There's always something to do. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, but we're slowly getting, I'm slowly getting to a rhythm because of all the info you guys are giving me where I know now, okay, I should be focusing on making some Italian soup every now and then because we need that for the caves, some book repellent, we need that for the caves. So when we have to go and get the artifacts again, you know, we know exactly. Uh, Needed. Um, okay, it takes five, so we put this one in the freezer, this one in the freezer. And this one we go into here. Alright, good. Um, we have everything else put away, so let's check out these guys here let's do one more round before we finish of um, mating so let's make sure we when we reset them they're all proper okay good Give me let's see if we get lucky and while we wait um, for them to mate Let's take this dude here. We need about 12,000 rocks, was it? Some ridiculous number like that. 300 times whatever it was. And 36. Exactly, that's what I taught Pussycat. Le level 130 cut, single shot, nice. Oh, we're a bit too full. Right. 
you guys got it. Sorted. No problem. I don't need to worry about a thing. Eh, okay. Pussycat, you're just gonna have to step back a bit. Thank you. And you have to come a little bit closer. Upstairs and check if these guys are okay. Oh, great. No more mating. Turn, turn it off. Turn the mating off. And are we gonna get the babies now? 17 seconds. Okay. Let me get a little bit more food. Okay, what do we have? First of all, mutations. Um, 204, we need something that's 208 or higher. 204. 206, 206, 204, 204. Okay, so, yeah, anything 204 is not good enough. Um, 206 simply means they got the the parents um, the dads yeah two two so these guys here theoretically these are the guys we could try to take up to the brood mother if you think that level is enough these guys would make good soldiers so but then we need to imprint them uh, properly Oh, that's only 204. 204, you, you have no use. 206, yeah, you have both as well. So if we want to try it with level 206s, excellent. But we have no kibble, so we can try to imprint them as well as, as, well as possible. You're 204. And you're 204, but you got a new mutation from the dad side for um, food, but it's useless pretty much. Okay. Come on. Okay, so you guys are gonna be all following me for slaughter. Okay, so these ones are, could be the first three of our army and then we just try to imprint them as well as possible. Um, no, I don't want, I don't want to use them for, for breeding because I, I want to just keep my, my male. Um, but th these guys are not an enhancement either, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to get uh, better females from nature, basically. 
it only takes one big female and then if, if I find one female that's a level 150 and uh, tame it it will be for 240 or something and if it has better stats than these guys in melee definitely in melee or, or like melee and or health um, doesn't matter melee preferred then I can start mixing the big guys in there and then all the females that will be with, uh, with um, without imprints that will be her level that we add them to the rotation or we can actually mate her with the original dad the original dad is still here he doesn't have any um, enhancements so he was the original dad if we find a huge um, female we can mix them together to make more of those females and then we have huge raw females that we can breed with so we have a, we have a bit of flexibility these guys will eat all the berries now. Okay, so they pass 10%. Okay. They actually prefer berries growing up. So they only eat the meat until um, they start eating the berries. All right, so let's see. Um, 20, 28 seconds. On, I don't want you to be. Yeah. Oh, you're stuck. Wow. Ah, for Pete's sake. Screw you. Um, what do we have? Cuddle. Okay, that's one imprint. What do you want? Nothing yet. What do you want? You want to go for walkies? Okay. What do you want? Cuddle. Here we go. Okay. Why do you guys decide to walk all on top of each other? <coughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, now I have to guys have have you guys separated nicely. Two pink ones spread together has a chance. Two pink ones spread together has a chance to be a four by four mutation. Yeah, but I want to go infinitively high, so I don't, I don't want to start messing with with mutated women because if, if I start messing with that, I'm gonna lose track of the numbers, and then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna create myself a situation where I can't go back, and then I have a situation where I basically limit myself on the mutations afterwards because I'm terrible keeping track of things. So I just, I just keep it simple. So these guys have another um, thing coming up. So they only need three um, cuddles or walks, but yeah, if they want kibble, I don't actually have kibble for them. So sadly I do not because I don't have any honey. Hard to hit these guys. Ah, uh, okay. He's down there anyway. Let's go back and see how much pace we made. Nice, look at all the paste. That's lovely. Yeah, that's gonna take me a while. I'm probably gonna be standing here for about an hour after the stream, just trying to um, make all the paste.
I know that crafting speed is crazy. Um, again, I didn't change that. That was just, I set the game to easy and that's what it does, I guess, by default. Actually, I now need a separate chest for that. For those. Jesus. Um, Rest on this dude. Oh, actually, if he's empty, then I can put it here. They are in the circle, aren't they? These guys re they reach for the megatheriums. They're 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 whitelisted. Oh, they actually he doesn't reach. Interesting. That is very interesting. We're gonna have to get these guys into the circle. Turn this on again. Ha. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I should move the move the feeding troughs over there, but then the babies will jump into them. So that's not good. So I don't think I need this dad anymore, to be honest. He was the original. Um, I just kept him to show you guys what he had. But um, the one that I definitely want to keep is the original dad in case we have to make stronger, plain, raw females, if you know what I mean. So without mutations. We're gonna kill this guy. Um, we don't need him anymore. But this one here will always be the one we use to make better females, I guess, unmutated females. Because if we find, like I said, a perfect um, 150 tame female with perfect stats, then we just use this dude to make more females with her that hopefully use mixed, well, her, her stats, but. Uh, will be then 240 females and then if we upgrade all of these females to level 240 then our mutations will go really high up really quickly as long as the mutations stack uh, uh, the ones you want it doesn't matter which side they come from as long as you have a clean to go back to yeah as long as i have a clean one to go back to yeah oh okay oh i see yeah in that case i can mix it can merge with him then you're right yeah 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 um, as long as we end up with a clean uh, female then, yeah. The problem is, if you look at this, yeah, even the female ones, this one is a, is a normal 206, even the 200, so, oh, I see, yeah, yeah, we could still get 202 females. So if I merge with him, I still can get unmutated females. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. What do you guys want? A cuddle. Okay. And you want hand fed azul berries. Azul berries is natural berries. That's the blue ones, isn't it? Ah, crap. I don't have any blue ones. What do you want? Cuddle. 
There you go. I'm gonna get blueberries. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna get you blueberries. Um, where's my... I love the way he's holding out his arms, you know? Okay, and then I do one more imprint on these three and that will be my first three soldiers that we're gonna have. Um, no, Danny, for now I'm not gonna up the game difficulty. I haven't even done the Brute Mother the first time. Um, and I actually, to be fair, I, I the, the taming speed and the mating speed and all that stuff. I'm actually pretty happy with that speed. I, I don't want it any longer. So, um, and I like the, the whole fighting against other dinos. That's not a, a big thing that, that that is, you know, it's it's like, yeah, sure. You have to fight other dinos to get the resources. But in the end of the day, it's all about the bosses and the, you know, the artifacts and, you know, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to up the difficulty to that because you're just doing the same thing except it takes longer. So, I mean, I think, yeah, if I would up the difficulty, we would have uh, uh, 13 streams that we have now in and we would still not be anywhere close to what we're doing right now. So it gives me a bit more freedom, you know, to play with the base building and, and not worry constantly about losing my dinosaurs and everything. So. But yeah, I get it. If people really are pro in this game and they know exactly what they're doing every time they start fresh, doing it more difficult is a good challenge because you still know what you're doing. But I still would get lost and go, oh, what should I get first, you know? And I don't have a... What you call it? I don't have a path, a progression path in my head yet, if I would start from scratch. I think in the moment if I would start from scratch, the first thing I would do is a Pteranodon um, to, um, not a Pteranodon, a, which one is the one you don't need a saddle for? A Muju thing, whatever, mo Mozoch, uh, you don't need a saddle for that, you don't need a saddle for, um, you need a saddle for the penguin, for the, for the Pingu flyer actually. Whatever he's called, he's underneath me. He's with the Karukus. Can't see him. Now. Oh, there. No, I can't see him now. So they, uh, uh, taming the ones that don't need a saddle is always very handy, I guess. So what do you want now? 41 seconds. 21 seconds. You're first. Please be something easy. The mashups, yeah. So have, uh, the first one you get is the mashup. Do one more brood round? What do you mean? You want one more? Um... Yeah, we can we can do one more here because these guys are finished now anyway. What do you want? Oh, you want to go for walkies? That's great. I can do that. There we go. And now he has. Um... What do, you, what do you have? Look at this, 1,129% uh, damage, base damage, without leveling up. So that is good. What do you want? Oh, you're not there yet. What do you want? Oh, you want to go for walkies? I can do that. There we go. Also, I need you to be on passive. Oh, 
Oh, walkies, nice. There we go. 1,100 health is 8,200. 8,000, that is amazing. 8,200 health. Sorry, I said base, that's not true. They're imprinted, so they're not base. If these guys made, they don't pass it on. So, um, but these guys are now our default base soldiers. I'm gonna have to move you guys soon. Can you guys come with me? I'm gonna need to move you guys. No, down here, but maybe down here. little bit over No, not over there. Why are you walking over there? There we go. Because I want you to be in the circle, but not in the way of the babies. Um, I suppose this one here has the circle go a little bit further, so it's fine. And then this one here is the one with the berries. Which goes nearly all the way across as well. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so they all have enough food now. I love the fact that parents defend the young in the wild, even passives ones like uh, parasaurs. That's true, yeah. I just just remember there's a cry with the game, getting 26. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're gonna. Um, it's gonna be, I think for the green one, we have to go all the way around here. So we have to walk. I actually have no idea. For the green one. Actually, it doesn't show it on the map. That's terrible. Why does it not show the... It's here, isn't it? Yeah, so we have to walk. Theoretically, we would have to walk from here all the way across. Oh, actually, yeah, all the way across. And... Yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere here. I don't know where it is, actually, to be honest. Um, looking at the map. Anyway, here we go. Let me turn off the mating. So, let's see. We have another 206. That's great. I'm gonna get food for you. You are 104. You are 204. You're 204. You're 204. Oh, is that a mutation? Oh, 206. But you look different. You're not the same. You're not the 206 mutation. You are. Yeah, you are food and strength. You're not. You're not good. Oh shit! I never checked these guys. He is. Yeah, health and strength. So he's good. You're bad. You are good. Nice. You're good. And you are good too. So these guys are all good. I'm here.
Why is why are these two always doing that? And then he's stuck now on it, is it? No. Okay, good, good. Alright. Now. The reason I imprint them and then kill them is because they run away otherwise and they're pain in the ass to chase down sometimes. Look, if I do this, I start running. And sometimes I can't catch up with them. You see, now they start running as well. Okay. So we didn't get any new mutations. But yeah, so what I usually do is I do like uh, three, four rounds of that, kill them all because there's no, no new mutations. And then all of a sudden you get that two or eight, but then it's female and you're like, fuck. So, um, because you obviously want the two or eight to be male and you wanted to have the stat that you actually care about. Okay. So now we have six soldiers basically. What monster? Um, I would suggest a cup. Yeah, Quetzal, yeah. So, the, the hidden truth. That's the idea. So, the idea is to get a Quetzal now next at some point. There's actually one flying around the ice area over there. What all we need, we have everything we need for Quetzal chasing. So, we're gonna, uh, next stream, we're gonna do um, honey. We have to find honey, so we're gonna go looking for honey. We're gonna try to get a quetzal um, or a tapi, a tapa, whatever. And um, we're also gonna try. Yeah, that's all. That's all days to. And then, um, so it's gonna be breeding honey for kibble and quetzal. Breed the 208 female with a clean male. Okay, so I have a clean male still here. I think I know what you're saying. So if we get a, if we get a 208 female, like sorry, if we get a 208 megatherium with perfect stats. So basically, the 208 should be that we get another mutation in strength. So if we get four strength and two health, in the moment it's two two, and if it happens to be a female, like you said. Then, if I merge her with a clean male, which is oh my god, can you just stop waving your asshole at me? Um, if like I have a clean male here, so if I then merge her with this male here, and I do that until I get a male child that inherits the imprints of the mother. No, that doesn't work because it even if it's a oh sorry because it's a male child then it doesn't matter because then if I replace the new male this male with the new male it again becomes all male side yes yes okay so we go female make it make a make a boy that has the female mutation included because it's now three female mutations but those three female mutations then will turn again into male mutations once we use that male as the new breed male with the clean females jesus christ yes it, it's it's a real brain killer yeah, yeah 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 it's a real brain killer this stuff it's wow okay you guys are nearly ready oh what do you guys want um you want to go for walkies okay what do you want you want to tinto berry Any tinto berries God, you guys like Tinto Berries the most. Okay, uh, let me go for a walk. Come on. Did you already trigger? 
Oh my god, why won't you trigger? Come on! Oh, finally! So what do you want? You go for walk, okay? Okay, you... Do what you want. I'm just gonna go and see if we can find some tinto berries. I don't know where the little one is now. Oh, over there. Oh my god, how do you still want to go for a walk? For Pete's sake. Jesus, you needy little brat. Hello? You gonna start the Jesus? You're such a needy child. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna keep working on these three and um, I don't know, maybe six is enough. Who knows? We can try it out. Yeah, and I usually breed till I get the mutations I want to start. So yeah, I actually killed the females one so far because I got actually two females before that were perfect. And I was like, shit, they're female. So um, yeah, it's actually good that I didn't kill the original dad. So the, or the original dad then uh, is going to be coming in very handy with the mutations. Yeah, I keep that in mind. That's really good. I mean, theoretically, you can even uh, mer uh, mate her with him, which has mutations, because in the end of the day, it only matters that you get a boy with everything. And as soon as you have a boy, you replace your main dude over there. All that fiber is going to make a mess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway i'm gonna leave this here listen guys you're you're, you're you're amazing to actually um hang around and watch this um and join the streams that's absolutely fantastic um but on ase you had to watch the nose more close to avoid yeah 2020 cap yeah yeah absolutely so here at least you can see the nice separation now of the mutations very easily so the females i keep them completely separate i don't want to mess with my existing breed pool um, I will only do that on the side with one-to-one -one breeding and I will have them breed non-stop until they have a boy and then I replace the guy and at the same time I will breed obviously the other ones to see if I get a perfect guy in the meantime so um, yeah that's perfect listen guys thank you so much and um, if you could leave a like on the way out if you haven't already and that's very much appreciated and Origin Viper thank you very much for the super chats and everybody else have a good night and stay safe bye bye